Hello everyone, and welcome to Rolling Left, to Cirque du Sang Sauvage. See, I can I can actually say the word, unlike R&D. You will notice he's not here. He has left us. <laughs> so we will have no Elden t um, today. But all the rest of us are here. So, last time, last time, we rescued our cat that had fallen down a hole. That's what happened last time. That was um, the fastest one ever, I think. Uh, well, I mean... Don't, don't forget that um, Marble's aunt had done something to Elden to make him sick. Yes, uh, as a punishment for... Uh, as a bit of revenge for uh, not... <laughs> For not preventing Marble from uh, falling down, falling the hole. down said hole. <laughs> also, Syl made some kind of pact with uh, bad things. Some, some, some kind of statue that was wanted him to do stuff. We don't know what the statue said to him. He could be lying to us. Who knows? But we have left. Uh, Sul, Sul, Sul Sulark, so. Sul Sulurak? I have no idea how, if I'm pronouncing the note. Sulurak. Yeah, we've left that as far as I remember. It's been two weeks. And we are now on our way. So, DM. What, yes! What, what is going on? So, um, we're going to go -ba -doo -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, a little bit forward in time. Um, otherwise, we're never getting out of this uh, desert. <laughs> ever, ever. So, uh, but you guys have gone and are now in the um, the oasis that has been your sort of your midway through. And what you need to decide once you've sort of refilled all your, your um, various, well, basically your water and some supplies and you, if you would like, you can see if you can't talk to anybody else that you find there. But, you know, for right now, you're just at a very nice oasis. Um, Laith, I need you to roll a D8 for me. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. If uh, I could do the smart thing and actually open the thing, which, uh, come on. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Roll 20. No problem. When you get to it, it's fine. D8. There we go. D8, correct? Yes. Oh. All right. So I believe you had 10 of your um, little mistletoe things that allow you to cast good berry. Mm. In fact, I have eight remaining. Okay, so that's how much you had. Well, now you have four. So in the journey, you had to use that four times, and now you have four left. Um, but yeah, uh, there are two options that you know uh, are ahead of you. You could go straight, using my cardinal directions, I believe it's east towards Lazola uh, through <laughs> that would make sense put the map yes yeah it's kind of a uh, your guide tells you that there is a uh, it's not like a set pass it's more of a natural dip where you could kind of squeeze through with your group it's dangerous there are orcs um, it doesn't, when it gets you through to Lazola, but it doesn't get you directly to any particular area because it's, it, that's just, there are no settlements that close. Uh, you come in basically directly north of a swamp with just sort of the edges of a swamp. Um, and you have to sort of find your way from there to civilization but that is one way you can go. You can also go directly south, which will take you through the Moaning Mesas and will find you at Fort Shaw. It is 
anywhere you go, it's going to be dangerous. Anywhere you go, it's going to have its own difficulties. Um, obviously, if you go south, you will be headed by the Devil's Cradle, where you know um, some particular enemies of, uh, in particular of Wolks, are hanging out. But so that could be um, a question. Do I know anything about the Moaning Mesas? I would say, uh, yes, you've you kind of been there. So um, Why are they, they are moaning. That sounds concerning. Uh, uh, because occasionally there's a wind that comes through. And it's as it goes through these these mesas, these very huge upright structures that have hollowed out points, they can often make really awful sounds. Just like, ooh, you know, sounds, which are creepy. And that's, uh, and sound like uh, moaning beasts or people. It's, again, you have to worry about orcs. You have to worry about desert creatures. You have to worry about the environment. Um, so it's really, it's probably a little easier to get through with all your equipment and with all your um, your uh, different carts and whatnot, mm. it's also a little bit longer. So, you know, it's it's a six of one, half a dozen of the other kind of thing. There isn't really a definite uh, bonus to going either way. So it's up to you. So where are you guys all, now that you've gotten here, you're at the Oasis, where is everyone? What's everyone doing? Well, what time of day is it when we arrive? Roll a d8. Okay. That's a one. You rely, uh, you get there in the very small hours of the morning. This is like dawn hmm. or even just before dawn hits. So sleepy time. Mm -hmm. We are Our sleeping during the day, traveling at night, so. Yeah. Yeah. We are nocturnal now. <laughs> oh, well, so the idea is we've kind of parked the caravan at this point. We're all kind of getting out of our rides and walking up to the oasis yep you've had a long night of traveling and uh finally your guide stops you and points and at first you can't quite see it but you see what looks like trees maybe which you don't get to see a lot of around here as you get closer you can see in the darkness the the water just sitting there calm there's a cool breeze that sort of floating from off the water in the early dawn mists. It's, you see that there are some other carts sort of around. Nobody is really doing anything right now. Um, but here you are, you finally, through all your difficulties and all your struggles, you finally made it halfway. So that's good. Yeah, I think Viani, once she got out of the carriage, having driven all night, would probably want to do some stretches and flips and uh, limber up after being seated for so many hours. I would like to do just a, like, a perimeter sh sweep. Let's just check that, like, there's nothing here, like, nothing waiting to ambush us here. All right, so first, uh, Viani, you can roll acrobatics. Oh, yeah, you are just flip, 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 flip. <laughs> the sand is a really good base. It's, yeah. It's really good. It's got a sort of softness, and it's it's just coarse enough to that you don't have to really, you know, worry about slipping, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Wolks, do me a 
perception check. Okay. 12. You don't see any obvious problems. Good. Then I will return to my card uh, to sleep. Temerity would like to stretch his wings before getting to the task of refilling the barrels. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. Uh, do you, are you going to actually fly around a bit or just stretch them? Bit of flying around. Yeah. So you just see Temerity walk up and fly off, but he keeps to, he just circles above the carts for a bit. Um, I'll let you make a perception check. I know you're not really looking for anything particularly, but just to see. Yeah, looks like a really nice oasis here. Yeah. Um, and then you settle down, and yeah, there's nothing to stop you from starting to drag those barrels over. Uh, Piani will help when she sees that. Yeah. I'm assuming more than just you will do it, but let's go through the rest of our group. Uh, where's my Mar Marble would want to do her usual cat stretching when she gets out of the cart. And she'll like pretend to walk a tightrope while she's at it. And then as she's just fiddle farting around, she'll notice them doing the barrels and go over and help. Okay. Yeah. So, Temerity, why don't you uh, roll athletics with advantage? Because you have helpers. Hey. Yeah. 14. I mean, it's a little bit, it's still dark and it's still, you've been traveling for a while. So, it's not like you're going, woohoo, <laughs> time to drag barrels around. But still, you do, you do what you can and people are helping. So, you get it done. All right. Uh, Zill. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, well, while they're doing that, I'm going to go down uh, a little ways away from them and sit beside the water for a while. Um, I have with me a small box that I keep on the cart. I guess a box. Yes, a small box um, that I keep on the cart, and uh, I will open it containing the spider that I stole from Elden um, some days before and uh, I'm going to sit there and uh, look at it for a while quietly to myself and uh, after a while I will gingerly is the spider DM call. Um, is it, does it, do, is it doing, does it, is it automatic in any way or is it like inert now that it's no longer like in Elden's possession? Um, uh, why don't you roll an arcana? Okay. Uh, um, right now it isn't doing anything. You get the sense that maybe it could do it could be reactivated, but you don't know how to do that. So I'll yeah. hold it in my hand for a while, kind of examining it, looking at it over. And um then I don't know that anyone really paying much attention to him. They're all over there doing their thing. Actually, Safira um, has been walking over to you going, hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hi. Hi. Listen, Safira. Go over there for a moment. I have business to attend to. Do you got to pee? It's been a long trip. Yeah. Don't be in the don't be in the water, okay? I won't. Because we're I'm gonna drink out of it later. Good to know. <laughs> so she's I'll be back. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> so she goes off. All right. And I'm gonna look at the spider. I'm gonna like poke at it and see if it does anything. Um if it doesn't, then uh uh Will hold it up, kind of look up. 
it's still dark outside, right? Yeah. Um, and kind of think about it for a moment, staring at it for, uh, with a, a flick of his fingers, throws the spider into the oasis. And he gets up and he goes back to his cart. All right. And the ringmaster. Ringmaster will have been very helpful. Um, helpful is with massive quotation marks. Um, th there was a period of time when the ringmaster thought that um, their body was a renewable resource and as a result suggested that uh, they could turn them into a giant barrel of water. This was not a good idea because uh, they're, made, they're, they're a slime. Um, at the moment, they are uh, trying to constitute the underside of one of the carriage's wheel axles. Um, this isn't really necessary. The wheel axle is perfectly fine. They just feel the need to be useful. All right. Um, Calio is definitely going to help with the water. Uh, on Kila, you see her kind of um, coming out. She's a little tired. She sort of wa you know, washes around her horns, uh, helps out a little bit, and then heads uh, off to bed. Lala Luna, um, she also tries to help as best as she can. And Safira waits about 37 seconds, gets bored, makes herself wait a little longer, and then goes and finds Zill again and uh, probably annoys him. Vi, there's apparently nowhere to be seen. Eldon, um, you guys notice that Eldon, he comes out, he's looking a little green. He's been looking a little green for the last few days. Uh, he says, <clears throat> "I, I, uh, I, I've got to, I've got to work on your axe, to marry. Uh, I'll be, I'll be in my, uh, my thing. That's, uh, yeah." And then he heads back to his cart, as doing a little, um, doing that little odd gait that people do when they're not quite convinced of the integrity of their bowels. <laughs> Got it. Take that asshole. Oh, Quite from, literally. From from, <laughs> from my position in the wheel axle, you know, I ask Ankila, who probably is, you know, somewhere nearby. <laughs> is Elden alright? He so he seems to be kind of sad. Uh well. I don't really know. I don't I think he's like sad. You. I think he has uh, stomach issues. Is he lactose intolerant? I don't know. I've never seen him eat. Me neither. God, he doesn't eat. Has someone been playing with his lunchbox? Does he eat? Well, he has he to does eat. kind of. Unless he's a vampire. But he would have told us, wouldn't he? Or would he have told us? Is he a vampire? I've seen him in the day. I don't believe they can go out in the day. Of course, I don't really know. I don't associate myself with the um, undead. It's bad for the That's complexion. True. He could be half vampire. No wonder he's weird. He is weird. I would have thought he knew the difference between a warhammer and an axe. Uh, he's well, definitely off. I'm sure he just misspoke. He knows what he's making. It's just a little preoccupied. Well, 
Well, I must um, gather some rest unless anyone needs me for anything else. No, I think we're just stopping here and then, right? We're just stopping here, getting some water. Mm -hmm. Stop here, get some water, get some rest. Yep. I would like to meditate and talk to my god for a little while before I go to sleep. Okay. Are you using a specific skill or, or um, anything? Or are you just sort of having a meditation set? Session. I'm sort of I'm sort of having a meditation session while holding onto my uh, my pendant that has his symbol. Mm -hmm. What was the symbol? I didn't type it down. It's Hermod, the god of luck. Um, I remember your god. I remember. Hang on. Mm -hmm. It was. I have to Hi, look Mora? up. Are we in favor? No, we. It wasn't. Um, let me see. Where are you? Well, currently I'm in Nebraska. Um, I think I wrote it down on your character sheet, which would have been smart if I did. Uh, oh, my bio switched. I can't believe your bio. Hermod, Hermod, god of luck. Yes. Okay. So that is. Um, so you sit down with your uh, your image of Hermod. You meditate. Why don't you um, just roll a religion? Okey doke. There we go. That was slow. Yeah, no problem. Um, in the soft light of dawn that's coming up, you feel a sense of peace and tranquility. Somehow the, the sound of the oasis, um, you see little kids kind of waking up very early and they go out and they're splashing around and something in the in the world around you sounds almost like laughter to you. And that is all. Unless there is a particular question or something you're seeking, if all you're seeking is connection, you feel as if that you are connected. She will want to, just out of curiosity, have him send her some kind of sign or anything that could tell her about the vision that she had when she was on drugs. Mm. Before she saw the rainbows. Okay. Um... The wind becomes cold. It becomes uncomfortable. Um, and you see in your mind's eye a city. It's a city that looks familiar even though you're sure you've never seen it. And you see in this city, this very strange city to you, um, a building rising up. It's tall, there's a spire upon it. There is um, a strange purplish octoroon kind of haze about it. And that is all you see. She's mm. going to ponder for a little bit over it, like shift uncomfortably before she gets up and heads to bed along with everyone else. As we are heading for bed, it's getting lighter, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So could we, ha um, as it gets lighter, I think Piani would want to do an investigation 
around the oasis area to look for like recency of tracks or density of activity just to see how trafficked it is and how recently someone might have come by okay go ahead and do an investigation oh my goodness um you see thank you it's just the dice yeah very nice Uh, dice yeah the the dice are are lucky loving our lucky girl Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) so (laughs) you see the um you see that this is obviously a very well-traveled place Uh, it looks to you like people come and go very quickly they don't uh, people don't really stick around um no evidence of long-term camps yeah no nothing like that nothing um nothing that makes you think that people really set up anything here it seems to be kind of a a shared place you also see that not all uh while many of the people that come and go um seem in very normal cart you you see evidence around that maybe orcs come here you see that orcish kind of um stuff that has been abandoned among other things Mm. um and yet there's no sign here that anyone fights or battles yeah you get the impression that this is sort of a a place of um enforced peace if that makes well enforced might be the wrong word but it, this neutral is a place ground. yeah this is neutral ground nobody wants to fuck up the water yeah. right okay got it yeah right before walk sets to sleep he will feed the the baby hook horror okay uh why don't you roll an animal handling check nope <laughs> uh, it bites you again <laughs> it just every time you try to feed it it just bites you and tries to claw at you do I at least so do far I, do I at least like does it still get some food at least oh y- yeah okay good. including possibly your thumb at some point <laughs> but yes it gets the food good. and That's tries good. to take your hand with it oh it, it will learn to not take my hand but time. <laughs> okay. All right. It's gotten a little bit bigger. Right now, it's still baby. So, um, I would say you also notice it doesn't like it when it's sunny out. That makes sense. Yeah. And um, other things you would have noticed is it doesn't really it it doesn't like snuzzle up to you or anything it's not affectionate but at the same time it seems upset when you leave it doesn't like to be alone mm-hmm. well, okay. let's make a pouch for it <laughs> let's let's not take the baby creature into battle just yet <laughs> Okay, well, I'm, I do that and then head to sleep because it's, it's been, I've been traveling the whole night and it's cold and I'm very not much not active. Sleepy time. All right. So is everybody, uh, anybody else going to stay up or does everyone go to sleep? Okay. I'm, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. All right. So, because it's going to sleep. So, everybody heads off and and gets their eight hours, uh, which means that you wake when you wake up, um, the sun is very high in the sky. Again, as as is usual, there's a little more activity because um, you're aware that. Being that you're in the oasis, it's a little easier. There are some places you can go to get a little bit of shade. There is, you know, the water stays coolish. So 
you know, some of the kids are splashing. Um, they seem to be human children. There's just a little bit of activity, but it's still, you know, this is full sun right now when you wake. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to start out by going out and getting heated up. And then I'm probably going to see if there's any of the barrel water barrels left that need to be filled and top them up, up if they need to. Yeah, probably if you look around, you can find a couple. So yeah, that I'll, I'll they just that didn't then. get to. Mm -hmm. Yanni would like to have a kind of check out the other... You said if there's some traffic, people are showing up. Yeah, it's a little bit. There, oh. uh, what looks like a small human tribe. And they all look like no one looks like they've come from the city. They all look like Bedouin, basically, like like yeah. legit. They don't. Okay. Yeah, they do yeah. not look. These are uh, nomadic tribal people, clearly, <laughs> and they. They not don't tourists. look unfriendly, but they don't look friendly either. They're not looking to hang out with the weirdos and the brightly colored tents. And I'll be right back. You know, that's all. But they go and they do their business, and they're not. They also don't seem to be afraid of you or worried about you. Okay. I wonder, oh. are there any kitties about? Like cats or like small children? No, ki children. Yes. Yeah, she uh, said there were two. There were small yep. human children. There were a couple of small human children. Okay. Um, like, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going to try juggling to ingratiate myself to the children and through them the the parents. Are you in your slime form, or did you change? Hmm. I think I think a slime form's fine. Yeah. Um yeah. I'll be I'll be in slime form and I will use my body as a small vacuum tube so as to you know with high strength you know juggle these little you know uh, fabric okay. balls that we've got. Yeah. All right. So why don't you roll a performance? Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They notice you, and again, they they look at you with a kind of not. They're not suspicious, but they're not coming any closer to you. Mm. They're. It's just a standoffish vibe that you get from the entire tribe. Like they're just not, they're not showing any sign of being hostile or not liking you. They're fine with you being there, but they are minding their own business. And oh, well, okay. Um, so, but I'm gonna, you know, just after a little bit of a while, you know, mucking about a little bit, I'm, um, I'm actually going to, um, like, go to the you know the oasis kind of area you know and see if there are any trees and if there are any trees i'm going to climb it and um you guys will kind of like see me kind of like compress myself down into something um but what i'm actually doing is that i am um using my Uh, you, using basically my druidicness in order to kind of like see if there are any druid circles around the area. Like basically people with a strong connection to the primal powers of the earth. I just want to see if there's anybody about. Sorry, and you're doing that by climbing a tree and just looking? Um, Kind of like looking into myself and kind of doing a... Uh, Magic scan, so to speak. All right, why don't you roll religion then? Okay. 17. Um, you get the sense that there is someone probably of a druidic nature 
within the tribe that you saw, mm -hmm. but they are not, um, the, the, they're not coming out. They're inside of a tent or, or something. And it's just a very vague sense. You're not sure if they're a druid kind of like you or in a very different way than you. Mm. They don't feel quite the same. They don't have that star energy. Mm. It's a much more grounded energy that they have. Fair enough. That's all I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Where is, I swear to God. All right, um, so that brings us, Marble, what are you doing? Well, when she wakes up, she's of course gonna do her kitty stretches. Mm. Yep. And then she is going to go over to the oasis and like put her feet in the water kind of enjoy everything say hi to the kids yeah um maybe yeah. play if they want to play um they're not going to play with you but they seem to like you there, there's more of a oh it's a kitty yeah. <laughs> it's a kitty cat <laughs> in clothes that's that's cool so but they kind of smile shyly but they don't come near you yeah she, then she might take a walk around and look at the buildings that are nearby there are no actual buildings per se there's like mm -hmm. tents and temporary structures but nothing permanent that is built here yeah she's just going to take a walk around yeah it's nice Take a look at everything. Uh, you can roll perception. Let's see if I perceive. It's really nice here. Really nice. <laughs> yep, nice place for a walk. Yep. And she's just gonna skip back and see if anyone wants help with anything. All right. Just uh, generally fooling around. Merity, what are you doing? I'm just going to see about preparing a simple meal for everyone that's part of the caravan anyway. I'm not sure what to make of everybody else. Easy enough. Um, why don't you roll? <sighs> roll a... 2d10. Wow, a when you, two. Yeah, when you go back into your stores, um, you notice that some of them have not made the journey well, and you feel like you're going to have to uh, find a place to buy some new, some new foods, or find some place where meats are or something or vegetables because it's looking a little sparse. I mean, you pl you certainly have enough for today. You probably have enough for a couple days. It's going to be a little lean after that. You don't know how many days you've got left on what you got. Certainly not enough to, um, to give people the sort of food that you like to give people by any means but even We're just gonna yeah. have to eat Elden yeah <laughs> I mean after his reaction to the <laughs> um, the jackals maybe we, maybe we should wait until he's no longer sick oh that's true <laughs> yeah that's, that's true. that the conversation we, we don't want to eat <laughs> sick meat everyone I don't like it that you want to eat our fellow uh, circus mates especially because he's sick <laughs> To make us sick. It'd be horrible. It would be horrible. We, we should we should at least wait until he's feeling better to ponder over this. <laughs> Is anybody <laughs> uh, proficient in insight? Uh, let me yes. see. Yes. Uh, no. 
All right. So those people <laughs> who are proficient in it, can you just roll uh, insight for me? 18. Oh, yeah. Both, both of you guys notice that um, Auntie Mimsy is smiling and giggling to herself like... <laughs> 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 yeah, I know what you've been doing. <laughs> Saucy Minx! <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> yeah, she's Does she like interact normal when interaction with Elden, though? Mm, uh, if you think back, you know to, you will think to yourself that she has not really spoken or had anything to do with Eldon since the situation with Marble. Since since Marble went in, she has not had two words together to say for that, say to that guy. Not that she's ever been unfriendly or rude to him. She just doesn't interact with him at all. It's like he isn't even there. Old shoulder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm, and Marvel's just not the wider. If we're lacking food, I can go hunt. Mm. It's possible we'll find traders. We could probably ask our guide about that. That is also an option. I'm curious to know how well you would do, Walks. And, you know, it's not... It won't go to waste, so why don't you have a have a hunt and see what you can find? I was about to say, why don't we just do both? All right, I will see what I can find. All right, we're gonna be eating scorpions. Hey, by the way, Wilkes, I believe in you. I give him a bardic inspiration. Oh, it only lasts for <laughs> ten minutes. Never mind. Yeah, I'll take it back. That, 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 uh... I'll just give you some encouraging words. All right. Scorpions, I don't believe scorpions, I'll, scorpions will make perfectly fine meals. I'll go up to him and like pat him on the back and be like, "I believe in you too," and give him guidance. That last a minute. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Donnie, we're both bad well, at this. <laughs> well, Happy Elk approaches you and gives you a fist bump. You also get guidance <laughs> off me, but it's a minute long, so it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so that's two minutes. <laughs> you better rush. You better go fast. That's it. Um, Vyth will come up to you and, and uh, say, I do not specialize in this area. I do not come from the desert, but I will help you. Very well. She's going to go with him. All right. Well, that... Uh... That makes it a lot easier to hunt, so that's fine. <laughs> and she's got, you know, she's got daggers. She's real good with them, so. I wish we will probably, like, we don't have to roleplay that, but, like, talk some tactics. No, no, stuff. no, no. Um, really? Oh, let's see. Why don't you roll... A um a D twenty. Okay. Eight. Okay. All right, and I am going to pull up. You find some toads. Hmm. Uh, you find a, uh, let's see, what is it? The whole you find cow. like a bird. <laughs> yeah. You find like a bird. You're not sure what kind of bird it is. Um, and I'm just looking up desert animals in case that's not obvious. <laughs> and you find a bunch of grasshoppers for some Lizards. reason. Lizards. There's probably mm. some lizards. lizards. Snakes. Yeah. Sneaky Do you... snakes. Yeah. 
probably some actually you haven't uh gotten any lizards or snakes for some re- weird reason mm. Mm. yeah maybe they're just maybe they can just smell you i don't know but yeah frogs you got some frogs frogs and grasshoppers and a bird oh that's something no yeah. you probably have <laughs> Uh, are there any locusts? Uh, roll, roll me a d4. Me or? Yeah, you, uh, folks. Two. You find a couple of locusts, but nothing. Not many. Okay. Well, I will bring that back. So I believe your skill allows you to find enough for, what, five people for a day? Uh, just as, as a yes, there. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, boop. Yes, mm-hmm. you can find food or fresh water for yourself and up to five others, other people each day, providing that the land offers very small game, water, and so forth. So well, I conjure be- <laughs> food out of nothing. I will say that because you are close to the oasis and because you are, um. You have somebody there to help. You feel like you've got, you've got enough to feed the group for the day. It it may be an interesting meal, but you know you don't care. It's meat. Yeah, I've eaten this before. Yeah. So Temerity, they come back in a, lo- a few hours, and you've got a lot of bugs, a couple of birds, and some toads. and frogs. <laughs> Yay, French cuisine. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Mm. Hey, bugs are good eating. Mm. Mm. Good sauce of protein. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think I'm missing Zill and Viani. Have I asked you guys what you guys are doing? Uh, well, she was in the having part of the conversation that sent Wilkes off on a hunting trip. That's uh, true. Um, otherwise, no, no. I mean, if the people aren't really interested in, well, I'll see if I have anything. I don't think I have anything like to barter or anything of interest for them. No, smoke bombs. No, I don't think that'll work. So I guess we're just going to kind of keep our distance. Yeah, she'll go sit over by the water after. Hang out, get ready to uh, travel again. Um, at some point, ringleader Amir Sakan comes over to you. You remember this is the person you rescued. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, he sits down and he kind of nods and he says, um, you have brought me to this place, and I am very grateful. I am unsure of what I should do now. I kind of um, stop and kind of like look around, and I say, Uh, and and um, after a bit of a long period of time of not speaking and just kind of like looking a bit intently, I'll say, if you want to, you can stay with us, but I'm not too sure if you'll be okay with that. I am not a circus performer. In my time, uh, I was a brewmaster. I am, I say this without, um, I do not wish to be boastful, but I was well known and very good at my art. Can you make us beer? Well, I can absolutely make Can you make us wine? Beer and um, wine. And uh, I make, I have a specialty in Rocky, uh, which is a, a special liqueur from this area. Uh, my problem is that I do not 
have uh, all, all my brewing equipment was destroyed. Okay. Um, I'll um, hmm. Uh, Amir is going to see something um, that you know um, the ringleader rarely does uh, during the day, anyway. Um, which is uh, he'll uh, Amir will see um, the ringleader kind of like scoot off and then kind of like scoot back and say if you want to you can come with me and uh, we'll just kind of go to my tent and um, a bit about like what's inside the ringleader's tent there's a lot of trappings of like clothing and like things that you would expect to be rather stereotypically in a in in a ringleader's tent kind of thing so there's like a there's like a chair there might be like a fold out uh, desk or something like that um it's piled with some papers and i would say that the uh, the book the bookkeeper whatever his name was um is probably there and Calio. uh, like hey Hey, boss. Hello. Are you okay? Oh, never better. Okay, I'm over here to get my money. And um, uh, Amir will see that, in fact, even though this is the ringleader's tent, the ringleader actually only takes up about um, a tiny, tiny speck of the area, which is actually a hat. Like, a much larger hat than the hat they already have. Um, and you, you know it's as as Amir kind of look, looks at it, realizes this hat is made of wood, and the ringleader will get into the hat and then scoop out, and there's a bag, and the ringleader will give Amir the bag. By the weight of it, they will say uh, that Amir could guess that it is about a hundred gold pieces, and. Um, ringleader is going to say, um, I want you to stay and say you'll stay, please. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can use that to get some, get a tent, get a bed, get some food, get whatever you want and a brewing station as well. Um... You're free to do as you want, but... There's a couple of rules you've got to follow if you're going to stay. Absolutely. Don't touch the books because they'll get wet. And uh, the ringleader will leave it at that. Um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I, I do not know if I can um, put out a, a full brewing station for this amount, but... Um, how much do you need? How much? I would have to look that up. I believe it's, uh, this is one of your followers, and I believe it costs 300 gold to get them set up. I'm okay. going, I can look that up and make sure that that is uh, okay. correct, uh, to ask, I believe. If, if I could ask a bit of out-of-character question, yeah? Sure. Is this specifically uh, my character's follower? Or is it another character, party member? Um, he came to you because you're the boss. Okay. Right? Yeah. So he doesn't have to be yours, but he could be. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm perfectly happy just covering all of it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Basically, by the time you get to um, Fort Chal, We'll figure mm-hmm. that he uh, will be your follower, your brewmaster follower. Okay. Um, um, so, so in order to make this a kind of thing, um, uh, the ringleader is going to say, "Can I? Uh, can you open the bag for a second, please?" And uh, Amir will open the bag, and then um, the ringleader will vomit gold into the bag. Oh, oh, oh! It's perfectly dry. It's perfectly nice, but it is vomiting into the bag, and uh, there's about 300 gold pieces now. Oh, my my goodness. Um, thank uh, you. Can, 
then he then he kind of like uh, then the ringleader looks up at looks up at them and looks up at him and he's he's honestly like the ringleader has this look that is kind of inscrutable like the look on their face is usually inscrutable but it'll be kind of like a very clearly very intense very very honestly concerned or maybe performatively concerned you could say and then they say is that better yes um i can i i will create a a very fine station and i will make you all the beers and all the uh, wine and the raki and uh, i will sell you of course edit you may have whatever you like of my uh product and i will sell them to people to make money for for all of us the people who come um, to your circus i'm sure some of them will like beer this blank look is like like the ringleader doesn't quite understand and then turns to the T turns to uh Kellyo Kellyo and go Kellyo Kellyo looks at you and says yeah boss I have a way of making us some money <laughs> I don't know what to do though no boss you got this you got this it's awesome okay hey Amir welcome to the family welcome to the team I love you is this guy an um, Italian? Is Calio an Italian fucking mobster? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes! I've got an Italian mobster as a fucking bookie. Oh, yes! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Something goes missing from those books. Fingers are gonna be missing. <laughs> I fully expect his oh, Italian yeah. mobsterness to just be heavily leaned into. From this point forward, Calio, ca uh, I expect ca all the stereotypes. <laughs> we have very few fa uh, we have very few thefts in this place, mostly because of our domain ability, and also the fact that Calio has had this alarming tendency of like finding people and then them winding up with broken knees. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> the world is full of dangers. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta be careful. Sometimes your legs get one broken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look. You mess with my family. Oh, oh, the family. You ain't keeping both your knees. That's all I'm saying. Me. It's bad for the knees. <laughs> the bee's knees. Yes. That's right, losing man. That's right. <laughs> okay, okay. I think that's that. I think oh, there we are. Um, guys, if anybody wants to like hack into the thing, it's a lot of money. I mean, I covered it. There's no problem. But if anyone wants to like chuck a bit of money, and I'll be very appreciative. <laughs> my funds, guys, my funds. Uh, Kalia will come over and he'll say, "Hey, look, you shouldn't only have to be the one to do this. I'll take some out of the kitty, all right?" He, g he gives you a hundred gold back. Okay. Of what you took. Oh, that's nice of him. Well, that's nice of Kalia. Um, however, the, the however the ringleader has no concept of gold, so he eats it. That's where he keeps the money. Oh, that's uh, you know, it's good for the digestion. I bet. I bet it is. Okay. I should start doing that myself. But uh, you know, eh. us, a fucking um... weird human. This per this Calio person is. It's, a, it's not even a human. It's a fucking he's a, he's a minotaur. It's a loxodon. It's a loxodon. It's an elephant man. I like, I like, I like this person. This person is great. If you kill Chrissy, if you kill them, I will cry. I'm not. <laughs> this, is, this is why you're. This is you why want, you're putting so much effort spend. in. You want them to. You want us to care about them. Then you're going to kill them. I know <laughs> your game. We, anyway, we would have yes. to spend an entire session just throwing in a, a, a huge ass funeral for this one character. Listen. I, uh, you can ask for the people who've been there. I put a lot of energy into repeat um, people. <laughs> repeat and MVPs. she will kill them. And yeah, I, she will it, kill them. Well, I won't. The dice kill them sometimes, but not me. <laughs> and who rolls the dice? Who rolls the dice? Who holds the, the strings to our their... fate? <laughs> in the case I of the dropped NPCs the dice. that 
<laughs> that got killed last time. That wasn't me either. I didn't roll them either. <laughs> it was that, that is true. We rolled those. We rolled the death saves. <laughs> so. All right, all right, all right. Enough. Now, um, that's that's me sorted. Like, um, I don't think uh, ringleader. Like, I don't want to be monopolizing all the time. Obviously, so yeah. It's all right. Okay. So at the end of the evening, or as it comes into evening, it's time for um, your very French dinner. Temerity, what did you get? What did you manage to make out of this um, interesting buffet that was brought to you? Um, well, we got off the fox legs. Um, which tastes like chicken, as everyone knows. If that's true, I will be disappointed. Uh, insects perhaps. are good fried. Don't ask me how I know that. They're okay. Yeah, fox eggs are okay. Do they taste like chicken? Wolks? <laughs> uh, it's, it's so long since I had them in real life. I had them in the gut. <laughs> mm. I mean, kind of. They're like the same consistency we, uh, as frog's legs. Like the same like stringiness. Mm. But like, I don't know. They're not that. They're okay. Wasn't worth the effort of getting them. <laughs> out, of out of character, I've eaten bugs. Yeah, same. I don't doubt that at all from you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded kind of dark, Jess. Right there. <laughs> oh, what's funny about it, what's funny, what's fu the reason why I laugh like that is because um, I accidentally inspired my small little cousin to eat it too which my aunt was not happy about <laughs> i mean i've had i've had quite a few bugs like the locusts locust burgers are very nice so we are oh. having we're having fried locusts that are st uh, stuffed inside of frogs and the legs have been separated from them don't forget the grasshoppers Logos, grasshoppers, that's just one is just a subset of the other. And some mashed potato on the side. Mm. All right. So, um, well, uh, you eat it. it. It tastes surprisingly good, you know, because everything Temerity makes tastes at least reasonably good. And you don't have <laughs> the spices now. And he has some some very good spices, and you know it all. It, it's it's a nice evening, you know. Uh, it's it's still it's just starting to be cool. You've had a full day's rest, um, and yeah, I guess the you all come together for your dinner and to discuss how you're going to finish your journey. Um, I think we should finish our journey riding through the desert. <laughs> Which direction? Oh. What were, what was the, what were the options we again? Can grow, we can go directly east through the natural path. That will be the quickest way. Or we can go further south through the Moaning Mesa. That will be slightly longer, but more accessible with our carts. It will also bring us closer to... The Devil's Cradle, where the new unified lizard folk tribe is. Ooh, let's go there. No. Yeah, I was about to say, didn't the ringleader <laughs> want to go in that direction? We will be slaughtered. You have little faith. I mean, I've been lucky so far. So you're saying, you're saying we need to be better off with the orcs? Orcs can or, the orcs are less numerous. No, I guess we find a <laughs> clan of a female leader and send it out to seduce her. That was all. That's a great idea. <laughs> um, that totally like, wouldn't backfire. Uh, 
I'm going to say, um, what will, <clears throat> what will happen if the, if the carts get hurt? If the carts get hurt, then we won't have carts or we will have to spend time repairing them. That's why we go by lizard folk people. Exactly. Well, we won't necessarily and... in interact with them. They're further south than that. And I will say it would be better to go down the path where our carts won't get hurt because currently the guy who's more than likely to fix the carts is having some issues. Okay. It um... is so but that okay. is the short, that is the longer way. We can take the, the but quicker it's the, way. But it's the aliver way. It's like the more likely to survive way. I mean, I'd rather be there alive, get there alive, than get there not alive and faster. With damaged carts. And here's the thing. It is the longer way, but if we continuously have to repair our carts, it would be almost as long, if not longer. My sister here is making an excellent point. Can I just mm. echo that? And um, then we high five. Yeah. The, what I'll what what the ringleader will do is uh, the ringleader will put all of the good berries that the ringleader has. You know, and they're like reasonably small. You know, reasonably in live, uh, reasonably cute looking. You know, like little jelly, basically like jelly babies. I think. Um, and there are only 40 of them. And the ringleader will say, I don't have that many. I can try and make more, but I don't know if it will work. How long is long? And I'm bringing up the fact, you know, like food. We need to be able to eat. Well, walks can hunt for us every day. That we, I can hunt you know. for, I can hunt for a few of us. Yeah, they, so that should last. I won't be less... able to, to provide enough food for the entire caravan. But it'll ease the pressure. Um, Has I'd anyone sure. seen a place to get food around here? I kind of like look over to the, um, you know, the kind of uh, Bedouin clan over there. I don't think hunting them would be a, a good option. No, oh. not hunting them. Yeah, we don't want to make Do you think they know anywhere there's food? Yes. You always ask. Here. At the oasis. Really, Wilkes, that's so full of wisdom. Can you please tell me more? What do you mean? <laughs> She's going to, like, pat him on the shoulder and say, don't worry about it. Just just don't. It's fine. <laughs> I wasn't going to worry about it. Okay, that's good. That's good. No need to worry. Um, like, the question still hasn't been answered. Like, how long is long? Like, if we take the other route, how much longer is it going to be? And how's our food situation going to be? We're going to be eating ship's biscuits for a while. Also, our DM is currently AFK. Uh -huh. We uh, can all just yeah, do we'll some right um, natural, like, fasting. <laughs> to... It's hot here anyway, so we probably can eat a little bit less. It'll be fine. And we might, you know, find some sources of water on the way. Who knows? Be optimistic, right? Yeah. What well, we should water, water should we should pro probably be fine. Yeah, we should definitely be we fine with water. It's just food. everything we had with water from the oasis. Then we'll just think of it like a cleanse. You know, like do some fasting. I mean, that's one way to go about it. <laughs> Look at it as an opportunity. <laughs> right. 
I mean, we're all starting to stretch our trousers a little a few bit. Pounds. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Marvel's, just gonna, trousers. Marvel's gonna look down at herself and be like, I'm not already skinny, but I mean I can <laughs> I kind of I kind of cut in and go. I have pante loons, but they are over there, and I point towards the, you know, ringleader's cart. Yeah. So we all want to keep fitting in our clothes. So so just be, chance we'll slim down, and then when we get to where we're going, we can just all bulk up again. Have a big feast. Yes. Like yeah, we made it. Om nom mm-hmm. nom. <laughs> no more jackals. Oh, only Elden gets the jackals. <laughs> But I like jackals. Me, to eat food is food. Too. I don't. I don't understand why you would you would willingly starve when there's when you could get food. That is true. Yeah, I guess if you think about it too hard, it's hard for us to keep it down once you try to eat it. So then there's really no point. You've been keeping it down fine so far. All right, which well, is the one time. You've eaten <laughs> things I've hunted twice now. Oh, no, but I mean Jackal in particular. I don't think we'll encounter more of those. Fingers crossed. That was our say DM back. Things. Yeah, you say these things. Exactly. <laughs> so. Nope. It's just mental cooking. Not everyone's a fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, we can we can ask the other people around if they know of anywhere close by where we could restock their our food, like on our way there. There yeah. has to be another oasis not a, too far. Remember, we do have a guide. That is true, but our guide is currently taking a nap <laughs> at the table, which is weird. <laughs> it's good food. Yeah, it sends you right to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, food coma. Oof, milk. <laughs> Oof. Yep. Not everyone's a house cat. <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta say to that is meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's our DM? Now we've gotten to the point where we're just waiting for Chrissy and we've all role played out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have nowhere else to well, go. Well, we're kind of stuck in oh, an oh, oasis. Oh, she's back. She's back. I just had to feed and water my offspring, so. Oh, um... okay, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Very important. That sounds <laughs> like keeping watering. them in a cage. Ah, uh, no, they, they stopped letting me do that when they were, like, three. It was really annoying. But, yeah, so they were like, no, you have to let us out, let us out, all the time. You need uh, to water us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I gave you a little thing that you can suck on, like a hamster, you know? I don't get what your problem is, kids. <laughs> But they were all like, no, that's abuse. You know, so we just... <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. To anybody who Where is society going these days when you can't even keep your kids in a cage? <laughs> kids, kid dare. cages are a time-honored tradition. They really are. Yeah. I mean, you know. As American as apple pie. <laughs> Hell Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, but I'm British. We keep them in the workhouse. Good, good. Very delightful. <laughs> keep them in the barn. <laughs> I'm from the south. That's where we keep them. That's true. Okay, that is true. So we, we, t- we talked about... Um, we're probably going to go the long way. Um, but we need to figure out uh, how much many days we have reasonably have food and water for. And, yeah, and how long also is how the long, long way is kind of the longest way. way. Yes. Okay, so... Uh... Do you know how to roll a d14? Um, Can anybody type do it? That? Can you yeah, do it by typing yeah, it? I believe yeah. you could do it yes, by you typing can. it. Yeah. You can. Give me a second, I'll do it. Right. Okay. Uh, just for the sake of it. Oh, sorry, sorry, I did it, but... 
Yeah. Somebody else did it. There you go. That, that what you just do is um, like you don't. It, it doesn't have to just be any of the like D4s, D8s, that kind of thing. Yeah. You can literally do it with anything. You could even do it with a D1. Mm -hmm. All it right. With a D3. <laughs> Look, one. <laughs> <laughs> I was How on pins and needles it? wondering what that D1 was going to roll, but there was a one. <laughs> Um, all right, so you think, looking at everything you have, at the water you think you're pretty good on. Yeah, your guide has told you it's it will be pretty much two weeks to Fort Chal. Um, mm -hmm. The food you're a little worried about because... You have at most 10 of the 14 days, and that's that's stretching it. That's if you kind of aren't exactly going crazy and Wolks goes out occasionally to do some more hunting. But even with that, you know, there's only so much you can do that. So you do not think that you have the full amount. You, you might have to stop somewhere. You might have to trade. Uh, your guide stop will somewhere tell, and trade. Your guide will tell you that that's you know within the realm of possibility. There are places you could possibly go. It might take a day or two extra, but you could get some some more and some better food. Well, let's just take our time then. Let's make a month of it. Make an adventure. Mm hmm. Um. I mean, I don't know if it, that would really work. We are... No, I mean, it, it could easily work. I mean, taking time is fine. It's just that there are people waiting for us, you know? Like the yeah, rest of the crew. you're already a little late. Not mm -hmm. horribly. You're like uh, three days longer to get here than you think that you had originally allowed for, but that's not horrible. So another 14 days... You know, it's not like they're going to go anywhere if you don't show up. Uh, mm -hmm. It just means that they'll be sort of stuck sitting around. Um, but uh, a full month would be like a pain in the butt. But you could probably add a couple days on it. It wouldn't be the end of the world. But, you know, uh, I'm sure not everybody is enjoying this extended vacation into... The desert. The desert. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still the option to go with the orcs and send Elden to negotiate. We'll, True. we'll likely encounter orcs no matter which direction we go in. And. Oh, wow. Well. But it just depends on whether or not we want to deal with wagon damage. Uh, which, which, if we want to be able to get there in a timely manner, we would need to deal with wagon damage. Yeah, if we were a caravan of woodworkers, we could probably deal with it, but no. I mean, here, you know, sometimes it takes longer to go by ship because there are storms or whatever else. Like, it's the Middle Ages. If we're a couple days late, that's probably still on time. But if we don't arrive at all, then we're really late. Well, if... I, I vote long way. Mm -hmm. I vote short way. Long I way. vote whichever way. Long way. Um. I vote long way. Oh, I think that's amazing. And after the Ter yeah, temerity. Yeah. Yeah, I was Don't gonna say. That. Well, for the creator stalemate, we'll go the long way, and I'll uh, just have to make lots of biscuits, and you all have to have biscuits and water. Okay. Outvoted again, Wolks. And I will remind you that if we encounter any orcs, let me do the talking. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Plan set. Plan set. So. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Going right for it then, huh? Okay. 
So you head south. Um, the, I mean, unless there's some kind of dungeon you want me to fall into again. I don't <laughs> want you to do anything. If you're going to just get high and wander off and then literally <laughs> fall into the dungeon, then that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> That's that was what happens when, whenever, whenever I feel like we're missing out on something that you worked hard on. I'll just, I'll just get my character high and have her wander around. <laughs> it's all good, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. If you I miss a... my jars of spices, make sure I don't have any catnip. <laughs> oh, um, roll a d4. Uh oh. Uh, Four. yeah, you've got a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're we'll keeping that under lock and key. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why do we even all. have this? This is... <laughs> It's not really that... something you eat a lot. Jeez. It's for when we celebrate um, Marble's birthday. I see. Special cake. Happy birthday, Marble Catnip. Space case. <laughs> <laughs> right. I also like the idea that even though Mar even though Marvels is kind of like um, up with all the different kinds of drugs, she doesn't actually know what catnip is. Like she mm -hmm. thinks it's some kind of like exotic thing that Temerity exclusively has. <laughs> I, think that, I think that would be fantastic. <laughs> that is great. That's that's on that's honestly within character mm. for her. <laughs> It's like, have you got any more of that nice stuff? <laughs> that then nice only stuff, you have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, Fiori totally doesn't know where it is. So, who is taking point as you head south? Well, Ox, you want I me to assume... do the best perception? Uh, I have dark well, vision and a passive of 13. I have dark vision and a passive of 16. Yeah, I, have, I don't have dark. So I have superior <laughs> dark vision and a passive of... You're so of, superior, oh my gosh. Um, you, you're right, of 13. <laughs> 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 so superior, oh my god. So, Marble and our guide on the first cart. Mm -hmm. and I've temerity or zil on the back most cards just to make sure no one falls behind yeah, yeah. I will stay uh, towards the front of the caravan just in case we come across orcs well also I'm the other person who knows the area yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that, that, that too Okay. Mostly orcs. So, first thing is I'm going to need um, Marble to roll a d6 then. Okie doke. Five. Hmm. Okay. Also, can you roll a perception with advantage? Because you're there with your guide. Okie doke. Ooh, all right. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm proficient. <laughs> Good loss. Oh. Okay. All right, so uh, you're going to need to roll me a d10. Well, okay. And if you hear me chewing on something, I'm sorry. I'm eating gummy bears. That's okay. Ooh, boom. Um. um. <laughs> Let's see, where did that go? What happened? Okay, hang on, sorry about that. All right. Um, 
you notice as you're going a kind of a glow in the distance. Um, how do I describe it? It's it's a it's like a blue. Uh, it's like a blue glow. And as you come closer, the, it looks like looks like there's some kind of large insect sect that seems to be glowing ultraviolet blue. Oh. I am going to turn to our guide and to Walks and tell them what I saw and ask, so what is it? This is, um, uh, the guide would know. Uh, Ed Walks, um, why don't you roll an intelligence? intelligence? With advantage, you would know. You would be likely to know this. Okay. I would think. 20. All right, so you know, and you can't tell from this this area exactly uh, what kind, but you know that there is something very special about anything scorpion that makes it glow like ultraviolet light in the moonlight in the desert. Mm. So there is some kind of scorpion up there. At least one of them. Hard to tell again from here. Hmm. I will relay this information. And I'm sure our guide does so too. Yeah, he agrees with you. Like, yep, that's what it is. I've got a not very nice uh got a scorpion. Hmm. You avoid it? Yes. All right, then. Unless, unless we want to attempt to hunt it for food. How big is it? Uh, let's see. It's big. I mean, it's big enough we can see it in the like as a glow on the horizon. It's definitely bigger than a normal scorpion. Yeah, definitely not a little scorpion. This is a big thing. It's like. At least the size of your camel. If I not mean, bigger. we do need food. There are if easier we're... things to hunt, but we could well, attempt it. If we are going to fight it, we should fight it on our terms. I, I think we should fight it. That's what I'm saying. Let's go! <laughs> okay, let's, uh, what's the plan? I mean, how do you attack a scorpion? It's got the tail, right? That's the biggest problem, so how do we deal with that? Tails and claws. Okay. We could sneak up on it. And what is the terrain we're in here? Is it still, like, duny, or has it started to become more... Like there's like rock structures. It has started to become a little more hard packed, but you're not in the full, you know, mesa area yet. Is there anything like that people could like reasonably hide behind to sneak up on it, or is it just like open land where like we're gonna stake out like a sore thumb? <sighs> um. Why don't you roll survival? Okay. 20. Um, you feel like uh, the way that what's left of the dunes are going is you could sort of go from dune to dune sneaking up. You would have to leave your carts. There's no way to bring them with your carts, but if you went as just on foot, you could probably do that. I once again relay this information to the others. 
Well, I have my crossbow, so... I have so pass without a trace. If we could sneak up and lob some attacks, draw the attention, draw the stinger, and then you could other people could sneak up from behind? I maybe. also have pass without a trace. Ah, excellent. Tagging from behind, assuming it stays in the same sneaks. orientation, would be adv advantageous. Well, if we were to draw its attention by doing a sacred flame and cross boat bolts from a distance, mm -hmm. it I would want to attack weapon. us. Yep, smack it too. And then yeah. it'll turn around to face that. I could attempt to grapple its tail. Exactly. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But <laughs> I have that. Now y'all know. I mean, totally did it on purpose. <laughs> Um, I can say, I can gum them up. It might help. Yeah, if we could get it stuck in one place, and we mm -hmm. sneak up on it to have the element of surprise, we attack it from two mm -hmm. different directions. Maybe try to flank it? Assuming mm -hmm. there was the only one. Well, yeah, assuming there was only the one, but the other ones mm -hmm. should also glow. We could sneak up and get a better look, yes. Yeah. I would suggest doing that. Uh, all right. Let's uh, pull you all over. Hang on a second. Okay. So here we are the desert at night and oh we've got some people here still oh no the scorpion is gigantic this is the glow oh no <laughs> oh my gosh we really didn't think about this <laughs> are we supposed to this? be seeing something do you not see the map we do. I still see uh, Sudorak. We see the dudes. Oh. I've been seeing Sudorak this whole time. Okay, uh, let's uh, get you over, I guess. You you're just, just need your own special trip. I yes. just see... I'm, I'm that special. I what see dunes. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, I, I see dunes and the ringleader. Yes. That okay, is, that is what you're supposed so... To. Hang on one second. Am I supposed to put myself on the map now? Yeah, everyone should put themselves on the map. I will pull up a scorpion here as soon as... Okay. Uh... Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. E. Here we go. All right, here's the... Your, your oh my gosh sounded so much like the Manitowoc Minute guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that is our glowing... Oh good uh... God, gosh. Scorpion, which is what size are you, you little? It's scorpion sized. No. It's a large beast, which is large. Large is uh oh, by, two by two. Two yeah, by two. two by two. Two by two. Okay, so this is your big old scorpion. Hello, scorpion. Are we going by the dunes actually ma mattering or we just we just using it as a backdrop? It's a backdrop. Okay. It's a beautiful backdrop. Exactly. It's a very beautiful backdrop. You guys are all level four now, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey. Okay. We're missing silk on the map. Face. Zill's too good for this. He decided to stay back. <laughs> I mean, that would be, <laughs> be within character. I know that's why I said it. <laughs> hey. Well, um, we would probably 
divide out in two teams. I think that was the idea, right? I think that works. I yeah. call being with Viani. Well, yeah, yeah you, you, Sister you two forever. are going to be the distraction. And we're both ranged yes. fighters, so we can yes. go from a distance. And we're sneaky. Sneaky. Okay. Sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak. So... so why don't you then uh, roll a couple of stealth, whoever's going up to check out Mr. Scorpion? Hell you. All right, so is everyone... In... Oh, on. God damn it. Okay. Whoa. We're also doing Pass Without a Trace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are we two yeah. groups or one? Two groups, so we need yeah. two people with Pass. Well, we, okay, we need but, to separate out who's in what group. This one, saying, yeah. like the, the map shows we're all in one blob. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. That's why I put, that's kind okay. of like why I put myself. I'm doing the lead drive to bear. Okay, okay. close up. Yeah, close okay, up pass without a trace. Close up people uh, in one and ranged in another, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yep. Something, uh, something, like something that I'll do, um, because Volks, you're going to be the person up, up close, correct? Yes, that is that is what I do. Right. Before this is this is, you know, like basically before things are going to go through. Mm -hmm. Um uh, ringleader is going to um turn a strange color, like this strange color of red if I'm honest, and then kind of like a little droplet spits out at you and you're it's highly kind of like a it's highly it's highly viscous and it kind of like absorbs into you very very quickly and I cast um Protection from poison on you. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. So you, for the duration, you got advantage. You got advantage on the second post. Oh, okay. I cast pass without a trace on this group that I'm with, so you get plus ten to your stealth rolls. Oh, nice. And we oh, wait, get plus Lace, 10. did you do that already? Actually. Oh no, you did. Perfect. No, I have. I don't have pass without trace yet. I, I'm that sorry. That was Marvel. I, I did pass without a trace. Okay, yeah. So my group will get plus ten to their stealth. Okay, good. And they also uh, get so my everyone. my stealth is now a nineteen, which is that's good. Yes. And Vianney's is like insane. I don't leave footprints. I don't even leave yeah. footprints. You you yeah, just appear in like not a dimension. At this point. <laughs> I'm I'm just sitting there going, wait a minute, where'd she go? <laughs> Yane, where are you? And she was never Chris, seen Christy, again. now you know how now you know how I feel whenever <laughs> yes. I play Esley. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just go uh, like that. Priority and just ringleader need to make stealth checks. Presumably. That's why I love playing rogue. Yeah. It's a ten, right? Mm -hmm. Plus ten. Yes. There you go. And oh, there you go. I got twenty. Fifty. Uh, that's twenty. Also zero perception. So you got a 20 and we're all so 25 right now. oh yeah yep. so then i got a 25 and walks 24. no you rolled perception it's the stuff the same oh yeah you're right um it's almost the same uh so it's 14 to 24 all i right. think no no it's it's the same okay so it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah so everyone has reasonable control hey um, yeah, everybody is being pretty stealthy. Oh, before we leave, sorry, uh, Vianney's like, uh, Zil, can I make that psychic connection with you again so we can time our attack? Yeah, sure. And then she says in his head, hi. Hello. All right, All right. yep, it's working. She's like, well, it's stunned. Okay. And then she heads over with Marble. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, right now, from what you can see, it's just sort of sitting there, being a scorpion. Have it I does guess. not appear at this point to have seen or encountered any of you. Um. <sighs> um all right. So, should we start? Uh, Biani will kind of like whisper to Marble like this. Should we start with our ranged attack and then hopefully draw his attention? Yeah, I can go ahead and cast my spiritual weapon and then sick it after it. Okay, so how close we have to be within 60 feet of it then? Yes. 
Okay, so we get up. So, I'll, yeah. I'll relate this to Zill that we're approaching to the point of 60 feet. Then you're going to cast Spiritual Weapon. I'm going to do my crossbow. You might throw in some Sacred Flames. And um, yeah, then we're going to try to get it to turn around and charge at us. So be quick. Like, get close. <laughs> Figure out how close you need to be. We'll wait till you're in position. Over. It's my first time ever using Spiritual Weapon. I've never used it before. Oh, it's fun. It's a bonus mech. It's like a little, a, yeah. little, a little ghostly sword friend. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a, it's or a, a hammer bonus friend. Smacking. Oh, yeah. So what does pop, your, pop. what does it look like, this? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, I haven't thought of this. <laughs> um, the way you said that. Shut up, leave me alone. <laughs> hmm. Head of nine tails. No, no, no. Do do what Christy is gonna do while I think about it. Okay. Well, yeah. Biani would be basically like judging out about sixty feet, continuing oh, to stealth, and uh, yeah, like getting a hand on a crossbow. So I'm more interested in how close the other group is going to get before they signal they're in position we should start our are we, attack are we using are we using the, the distances that we have on the map currently no i'm just doing theater of the mind myself at least okay oh i'm i'm assuming that the distance is right there that you okay. are about 35 feet uh but you guys are closer i think actually yeah we're we're, we're like within behind, 25 each of us and behind you guys are 40 yeah so I'm um, um, if if we're going to be working as if it's like whatever, what I'll do is that I'll just say like I'll be waiting um, a bit back over here, probably behind like a do so probably like you know a bit away from Zill, but you know in well, like visual distance from there. Well, you need to be within what is it thirty feet of him to get the plus ten to the stealth bonus. Well. Like I am, I'm definitely. I think I got it. That. I'm within fifteen feet. You know, so like being. Okay. I think. I think I got it. What okay. are the? Give me my make sure. Is it sixty feet on casting for spiritual weapon? Uh, yes, it's sixty. It's okay. the range of it is sixty feet. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm thinking of it being one of those toy hammers. But it looks like it's made out of gummies. <laughs> That's very cute. Is it brightly colored? Yes. <laughs> what are the colors? It's rainbow. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> or I can make it the bisexual colors. Either which way, it's colorful. You know what? We're going rainbow. Okay. Rainbow. Okay. Rainbow hammer. Yes. Okay. Like a gay four. Exactly. Except it's like a big hammer. It's like giant. All right. So make your attack with it. With your gummy hammer. Oh, can, sorry. Do we know? I thought we were waiting till they got into position. Are y'all oh, in position? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm going to do. Pretty much in position. Yeah. Yeah. And you have your okay. plan? Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. 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 Tonight we dine on scorpion meat. Mm-mm. Good. Good eating. All right. So that's uh, that's that's some good crunch right there. God, scorpion tastes of goo. Yummy yum. Still got the exoskeleton. <laughs> but you, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, but that doesn't really taste of anything. It tastes of whatever flesh you put on it. Yeah, don't. It's uh... still the crunch. Mm. Very, very insistent Lo about this. Lovely okay. chitin. Hell yeah! I mean, might as well. All right. Do I hit? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Yes. Yay! So seven seven force, force damage. damage. Woo. Okay. Um, it's, uh, sits there with surprise. Yeah, you see it kind of like, oh, give it a little shake. 
All right, Viani. Uh, well, actually, I should say, is there? I, I'm assuming you guys are going to take um, some quick attacks so that it comes out. Surprise around. I have, I have a quick question about spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. So, so it takes away like one of my spell slots just to will it into existence, but I can use it to attack however many times. I think it yeah. lasts up to a minute a, or ten it's minutes. A okay, so it's first thing, it's, it's not a concentration. concentration. It's not a concentration. It's not. Oh, okay. Nope. nope. Um, it's also a bonus action, isn't it? It, it does take a it bonus action. It is a action bonus action. Yep. To yeah. to move it or yeah. attack with it, uh, and, and to a maximum of twenty feet. I think it lasts either a minute or I think it's, it's a, one minute. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I use it a lot. I've used that spell a lot. So that one I know pretty okay. well. Okay. I was just wondering for spell slot's sake. Yeah, it's just the one time to cast it. Okay. Per combat, I guess you would say. Okay. Okay. So then Vianney, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Vianney is going to use her light crossbow because her daggers won't go that far and so yeah here it goes on you oh. 60 feet away wow all right so how much is that all together um well sneak attack oh yeah because it's a surprise round so yeah. it's yeah, six you, plus so 15 so 21 okay Oof. Um, by the way, uh, Sib, I'm on the edge of 60 feet. So is it? It's, I wasn't sure if daggers were 30 or 60, so I just went like crossbow, which worked out for me. But which one is it? Yeah, it's 60. Oh, okay. All right. But this worked out well, so that's fine. It did. Right. Uh, that brings us to Temerity. Now, uh, mm -hmm. if you guys go, then it isn't necessarily going to charge at Marble and Viani, just so you know. But mm -hmm. you can still I'm, do I'm, it I'm anyway. waiting. I'm waiting, like, to, for you to tell me, like, for my surprise round, because, you know, I'm waiting on that. Yeah, it's surprise round now, so it's okay. Temerity's turn. But all I'm saying is I know part of the plan was Marble and Viani were going to hit it so that it would come at them. So that we could get it from be that we would so be that you could get it from, from behind. behind. If you all just attack it, then you don't know which way it will go. Mm. It will go, yeah. which yeah. you know, like, maybe wait, you don't wait care. And let it let it turn and like point towards them before we attack, basically. Yeah, in that case, we. In can... that case, Tavares is skipping his turn. <laughs> all right, is everybody else over there skipping your turn? Uh, um, I would like to move a little, like, I should still be within 30 feet of, uh, yeah, like, slightly over here, so I'm slightly closer to it, still behind a dune, and still close to, um, self. Okay. Um, just roll another, uh, stealth again. Okay. Twenty-four. Why are we... For going our surprise round, uh, you don't have to. Because the power. I, I was just pointing out that your plan kind of depends on it. But if you don't care about your plan, if you're just going to beat it to pulp, just do that. But mm -hmm. no, it's okay. I mean, yeah, people can do it if they want. I just thought the idea was to sneak up on it. And then have them, like, have a charge at them so we can get it from behind. That's Just, that's what I fully intend for. Like, yeah. I was I was actually just checking distances. That's all. Okay. So that uh, brings us to Zill. Um, well, if they're all not going to attack it, I'm not going to definitely attack it. Okay. Um, ringleader. Right. Um, I'm going to prepare, and my specific, the specific thing that I'm going to ready, um, is when it's its turn and it starts moving, when it gets about 30 feet away, 
I'm gonna just ready and go kabam and hit it with a moonbeam. Well, it's already 30 feet away. Mm -mm. When it moves 30 feet from its present spot. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, so, Wilkes has already done his thing. All right, so what's going to happen is it's not really the scorpion's turn, but we'll say for the sake that um, that it is now oriented towards uh, the direction of who hit it. Right, it's at least looking over because technically that was an entire surprise round and you guys could all go again. Well, presumably there's also like the spiral to weapon is also somewhere like here. So it's also standing next to it. Yeah, it would probably be glowing or something with a radiant light. So it would be, be yes. aware yeah, straight so line from like where Marvel is Glowing with a gummy light. And probably yes. quite confused. It is, but you know, again, it came from uh, the general this is it came from the direction yeah. um, over here. So that's the way it's pointing. Oh, yeah. By the way, I picture it as having like really blood, bright glowing sort of 1980s color light when yes, it glows. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, like Christmas lights. Yeah. Okay. I'm All so glad right. we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that brings us to Marble again. Okay, so I am going to cast Sacred Flame at it and then have my um, Sacred Weapon hit it again. Okay, so do the Sacred Flame first. It needs to make a DC 14. Dex. So Dex. Okay. Yes. So... That's a plus one, 19, it makes it. Darn. Okay. So it gets nothing. Okay. So now, sacred spiritual weapon. Oop. Oop. Darn. Mm. And it's, it's still dodging and, and hissing and throwing its tail around, and so it gets so, stays away from you. Darn. Okay. Be Yanni. Like All right. Um, yeah. Let's try this because she's got her dagger and her second, her offhand. So she's going to use that. So she's going to first throw the one dagger at it. Oof. That's her sneak attack, too. Yep. So 17. And then this is her offhand. And without the sneak. So just five. Okay, so 17 plus 5 is 22. Correct. Yes. I was too excited to do my math. Okay. <laughs> no problem. It's looking bad already. Uh, you guys barely engaged with it. All right, so... Um, temerity. Temerity, I want you to roll a perception. Okay. 22. The air feels strange to you. You're somebody who can fly. And it feels a little odd on your wings. Hmm. Unusually oh, still. That doesn't seem good. Uh, hmm. Bertie doesn't have much he can do at range, so he's going to get a little closer and then hold his action, which would be a melee attack if for some reason the scorpion came within range. Okay. All right, so where did you head to? Let me see. Okay. Um, yeah. And that's all you're doing, just moving over there? Yep. Okay. Holding an action. Holding an action. All right. Uh, Zill. Zill. 
is this sign attacking this critter at this point? Um, you haven't yet. No one has. On nope, side. no one on this side attacks the attacked it yet. And it looks like it's dying. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack it. Okay. I'm going to toll the dead. So it needs to make a DC 15 wisdom save. Oh, why are okay. scorpions? It's a good question. I will tell you in a sec. Like, it sounds like a sin riddle. I don't think it's going to make it. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it's that wise. No, it's it's not uh, made. It's, it's very not wise. So Seven necrotic damage. Okay. And it'll be my turn. Okay. All right. Ring leader. Ring leader. What you gonna do, ring leader? I'm going to smack it with a guiding belt, which is what the ring leader's gonna do. Um, okay. And it can only be at level one. Splaff, 15. 15 hits. 19 damage, radiant. You Good. can describe its terrible death. All right. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I think will happen is is that um, the ring the ring leaders like uh, little speckled bits of like uh, I guess you could say like brass or maybe bronze in their skin uh, starts to glow a little bit and then a little crackle goes click 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 all the way through and then like a um, surprisingly small thin uh, line just goes and um, slams into this thing's back and uh, travels out the other side and uh, marble uh, basically like in the sand dune next to you you kind of like see a little hole appear and then the sand just collapses in on itself As... Marble's gonna jump very cat like and like her fur is gonna stand up she's gonna be like whoa <laughs> and uh, yeah that's it it's dead Okay. That I have lost my arm. Okay. Well. So what do you do now? Go over and investigate if we can eat any of it. And I want to harvest the things that I would usually need to harvest for my auntie. All right. So head over with your whoever's heading over. Uh, move your token. I will, I will be all right I will be um, assisting marble in uh, harvesting stuff since I'm used to um uh, will you though because as it so happens as marble <laughs> uh, crosses by oh dear she notices and and you should go back a, a little bit marble for some reason I can't get you okay come here there you are all right so, um, it's going to make a couple of slam tacks at you. It's an air elemental. Oh, great. That's so wonderful. That's so exciting for me. Why is it always me? Actually, um, there is... What's going to happen first is the two slam attacks against you. These are both uh, plus, 20, plus eight. 20. So 15. That does not hit. Okay. Again, 15. So you uh, cat like leap out of the way. But now it's riled up and it's going to. It starts swirling and swirling and swirling like a whirlwind. Um, and let's see the space. What space? What is its space? I don't know what it means by that. Hmm. Well, you need to make a DC 13 strength saving throw. And I believe um, definitely Viani will have to make a strength saving throw. 
Oh, wish me luck with oh, that. Oh, that's, that's not gonna go well. This, this is gonna go uh, the opposite of well. Yeah, this is gonna go bad for both of us. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so both of Bye, you... Guys. Um, are going are NEM on it up. We're not in Kansas anymore. Um, you are what's Kansas? All right. So roll a D6, each of you. Okay. So you are kind of flung 20 feet marble in the general direction of the uh, the giant scorpion, and so is Viani. So you can both make it. To, to, and Viani, uh, you can do ten feet. I'm just figuring you basically. Oh, so, so I land on top of Wilkes. All right. <laughs> All right. So I go about there. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So I so I essentially land on Wilkes. <laughs> uh, both of you take. 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh, uh, Wolks. Um, oof. I'm going to say uh, do a deck save. Okay. Or you could catch me. 12. Mm. Um, you will take a d4 of bludgeoning damage. That's fair. Okay. That's yeah. Fair. So you all of a sudden you've got kitty all over you and ow. Suddenly, cat. All right. So sorry, Wolves. And now it is marble. It's it's your turn. You're laying down. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You need to take. You need. You also take fifteen. I I was wrong. I did not see the full writing of the world. So Ooh. you also get 15 bludgeoning damage. Who? On top of the uh, 15 Wolks. I already got? Uh, oh, a Wolks. Okay. Sorry. Oh, so you, instead okay. of three, you take 15. I was about to say, oh my gosh, okay. that's a lot of damage. All right. And you're all knocked prone. Am I oh. moved? No, basically. I mean, you can move one over, but. Is my spiritual weapon still up? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, take my act, spend my action and get up. Well, you okay, spend all your then... movement, not your action. Oh, well, my movement, whatever. Whatever it is. You know what I mean. And I'm going to stand next to Wilkes. And then I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the elemental, and then use my spiritual weapon on it. Boop. Okay. Watch this one make it, because all my low damage ones make it. 17. Okay, that doesn't make it. So. Spiritual 17 weapon. doesn't make it? Oh, 17 oh, makes sorry. it. Yes. I'm, I mean, my sacred sorry. flame doesn't hit. <sighs> Uh, yeah. yeah, 21 definitely hits. So, that gets Seven. force damage from my giant gummy rainbow hammer. Yep. Woo. So it Woo. spins right away um, from you, but yeah. Okay. Okay, that's my turn. Um, I'm also going to have you do, do a constitution save for me. It's oh, gonna dear. start out low. Oh, okay. Oh, yep, you make it. Go. There's a lot of dirt now going everywhere, but you resist. Do you do any moving? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I will because you're you're walks. laying on top of Walk, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I do. I do get up. I do get okay. up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you get up, and I, there you are. Yeah. All right. Uh, Vianney. All right, Vianney's gonna get up and use half her movement, which is 12 and a half feet. 
And then she's going to move back because she is not an upfront fighter. And I'll move her afterwards. I've got a new... Ah, there we go. All right, so she's going to move, like, back here by wolves. And she's going to throw her psionic daggers, yelling, How am I supposed to fight wind? Um, all right. So the first one hits. Okay. But there's no sneak. Does it look like it's gotten any damage whatsoever? Uh, it looks like it's gotten taken damage. Oh, okay. Um, so it's a little hard to tell, but you, yeah, you kind wind. of knows, notice it wiggle a little like It's looking uh, pretty jelly. winded. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. right, and now roll your... Is that everything? Mm-hmm. All right, roll your con save. Okay. Oof, nope. Okay, yeah. Um, you, uh, that wind, that, that dirt, it is just biting into you. And so um, you are blinded. Okay. It's just hitting you right in the eyes. Then with my bonus action, yeah, I still have that. Yep, I just, yeah. yep. I want to give Wolks Bardic Inspiration. Okay. Okay. And Temerity, that's why it felt so weird. All that wind. There's an air elemental. This is very, very good to know. <laughs> I don't have to remember. If the next time we fight one of these bloody things. Uh... I do not have many options for this. I don't think any of them are good. I'm going to come up here and Ooh, just wait. Okay. Roll, um, roll strength. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, so, um, Never you, mind. you try to fly, you can't quite make it up. So you, you can go down about the same amount of space that it took, but yeah, you're definitely not flying. It's just too windy, too sandy. If you could get up above, but right now it is just kicking up wind and, and sand at very high speeds right now. And you can roll a con save. I'd say this should be good, but look what happened last time. Oh yeah, you're fine. Ah, 23. You sort of take your wing and you fold it over your, your head to keep the most of the sand. And so you're kind of using it like an umbrella. <laughs> All right, Zill. Let's see, there is a floaty ball of something. Um, of wind. Let's see. We'll, uh... Hold on. I gotta look at this. No, it wouldn't do shit to a fucking... I was thinking, what, what would a wind spell do to a wind elemental? Probably nothing. The, the answer is nothing. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Toll of the Dead. Fuck it. Okay. Let's make a wisdom save. A wisdom save. So it is a... A six. Six? Yeah, it doesn't have... It... So how much does it do? Ten? Okay. Ten. And that's necrotic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and you can make how far away from you how far away are you um 50 
All right, so I will say that you can uh, do a con save and add two. Uh, so 13, yeah, you, you are able to keep the sand from getting directly into your eyes. All right. So, ringleader. Right. A ringleader is going to um, see what is happening. Oh, there I am. Um, and decide that the power of the moon is in necessary is needed. And I uh, cast moonbeam. Okay. Um, yeah. So DC D DC eleven Constitution saving throw. On uh, on 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 this on, on this likely oh, it has a plus but not enough so it takes seven seven radiant damage. Okay. And I'm I'm just like staying where I am. All right. Um, and do a con. I regret staying where I am. Uh, saving throw, correct? Yep. Uh, you are now blinded. You're just pelted with the sand. It's getting into your body. It's gross. You hate it. And you can't see. Aww. All right. Wolks. All right. So whoever's mm -hmm. blind, we got to come up with a, I don't know, purple. Purple means blind now. I think Anybody there is else? A, uh... I think so too, but I'm not seeing it for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe you undid the marker sets. Yeah, maybe. Nah, uh, maybe. Uh, purple works. Um, Who's what? blind? I'm blind. Viani's yeah, blind. The, yeah, okay. you have the, the two people that are blind now. I think that's okay. it. There yeah. you go. Okay. There's well, an uh, there's a bleeding eye, and I think that that means blind. That works. So, I'm going to use half my movement to get up, and then I'm going to go punch it. Uh, but first, okay. I'm going to use my um, bonus action to do second wind. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That is 13 points back. All right. Okay, and then I am gonna attempt to, uh, yeah, attempt to punch it. Just punching into the air. Uh, 17 hits. So it does 10 bludgeoning damage. You notice as it um, hits, it doesn't do as much damage as you would have thought it would do. That kind of unexpected. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, really hard to to punch. Yeah, to punch. Air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is my turn. I assume I need to do a con save. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah. Um, you kind of take your your red sash and just move it above above your head so um oh, so your I, I eyes it just wearing the, so my performance um well you're wearing something and you yeah, put it i have a shirt head. you have a shirt you put the shirt over your head <laughs> you just put it over just you know you fought these before you know that you have to protect your eyes okay. all right and that brings us to the top all right so it just kind of blows right through you um and it is um it, it should take damage from the starting in the moonbeam oh yeah okay so what's the damage on starting in the moonbeam? 
the same i assume it's the same uh oh where's the moonbeam show spell description it wasn't found all right it, I'm, I'm getting... right, it's just to put the spell description up i can't uh... oh. hmm. <clears throat> that was uh on it. i'll uh yeah I'll just put it in as text. I have it here. All right, so it has to make a con saving throw. Okay. Okay, it's not going to make the con save. <laughs> well, that's another 2d10. All right, yep. Yeah. Velvo this time. All right. It's starting to look bloodied would be the wrong word, but it's starting to look winded, as Marble would say. <laughs> All right. So it is going to um, do a blast me away. Yep. It's going to try to slam attack you um, for nine. That's a 19 to hit. Yeah, um, that is 14 damage. That would still hit 14. Yep. And it is going to try to slam into Walks because Walks is right there too. I mean, it Ooh, natural 20. Jesus. It did. Ooh. Well, to be fair, it did practically pass through me. So um, that's yeah. ent it makes entirely make sense. <laughs> yeah. So it just went right through you, and as it did, it really tore you up. And that is... That could be most of my hit points. That's 28 points of, of uh, bludgeoning Jesus. damage. Oof. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm down in single digits. Right. Oh my gosh, you too? Oh, you're still up. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's his whole thing. <laughs> Good thing I did the, the second win. Good thing the cleric is next. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Marble. Um, quick question. What would it be for me to put, like, to hold my shield up? Can I just do it? You can just do if you have it there. Yeah, you can do it as a free yeah. action. Yeah. So I'm going to do that, so that my AC goes up to 18, mm -hmm. and then I am going to cast. Okay. I'm going to go over to Wilkes. Touch him and cast Cure Wounds. Ooh. That's not bad. And hmm. then I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself since we're both in single digits right now. Uh, I don't think you can only use uh... one spell. Yeah, and you've got, you've, you've got oh, your... Healing um... Word's a bonus action. It is. The rule is you got to spend one. You only get one spell. Yeah. So like. Ah, uh, okay. A, so you get a mind. spell. You get a. In instead of doing that, I'll use my bonus action to hit it with my spiritual weapon again. It is okay. practically standing on top of it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's wind this up. Okay, it doesn't hit. No, it's it's hard okay. to hit with. Like That's my turn. It basically. But just so oh. y'all know, if it hits me again, I'm down. So. Don't worry, I got something that can help. Yay! All right, Viani, you're blind. Yes. So, do I get a saving throw for that, or am I just the blind? end of your? The um, end of my turn. The end of your turn. 
All right, so um, with her turn, she's going to try to move in the direction away from the wind. Presumably, she, even if blinded, she would be oriented enough to roll um, when it was in her face and when it was behind her. Yeah, I I think so. Okay, so can she take her just like her, her full movement to try to get out of the dust cloud? Uh, yeah. All right, is that Zill over there? I'm she won't be able to see where Zilla yes. is, but okay. So, but you can just sort of go in the general direction. All right, like to there or something. Okay, and it's a con save throw. Right? It's con saving throw, right? Yep. So, is this your full? I, she can't see. Yep. Um, okay. Um. Yeah. Like, like if I attack it, I take it. It's not even a disadvantage. I mean, is it a disadvantage or what is the situation? Uh, it the... certainly would be a disadvantage, and it's also kind of like it's real windy. So if you were doing a ranged attack, yeah, I could hit someone. Close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so you now she's just going to try to see first. So. Okay. So yep. <laughs> nope. No. Okay. I mean, you are, it's just, it's all, this grit is in your eyes. Look, I did my bit with the scorpion, all right? Yeah. I, so, <laughs> I'm just going to sit this one out, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Please don't. Turn. You've, you've got a reliable source of damage if you can so see. Though I will say, and I'm being very nice, I believe you can re-roll a one. Oh my gosh, yes, you're right, because I, I forget that, because I'm not trained yet, and I do get to re-roll my ones. Thank you, Dungeon Master, Mistress. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, not used to. 14? 14. Um, 14 will make it. You can oh my start gosh. to see. You've got bleary eyes, yep. but you can see. All right. Woohoo, halfling. I forgot my own feature. Woohoo. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Temerity. Temerity's just going to say, F it, step closer and attack, since there's literally nothing else to do. Okay. 20. And I'm assuming that does not hit. No, it's, it's, it's 20. We're flanking it. Yeah, you are flanking it. Ah. 20 does so that would be 20. With 5 piercing. Again, it and doesn't the, seem uh, to be taking as much damage as you would want it to. You would expect it to, but it, like it's, you're you're li literally jabbing it's an air the elemental. whirlwind with air. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you're doing what you can. And then the follow up unarmed again twenty two with four bludgeoning. Wow, I'm rolling badly on the damage rolls. That's all right. Every little bit counts, right? Yeah, four damage. Woo. You're doing as best as you can. You're fighting it with your fists. <laughs> Tesco of help. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Are you still a con save? Uh, yes, a con save. Twenty. Hey, you're doing all right. Nice. It's the wings. Mm. Zill. Uh, was fucking told the dead again. It's a wisdom save. Mm -hmm. 13. Uh, so does 13 make it? No. Okay. So it's six damage. Six. The sound of bells ripples through it. Yep. All right. Uh, ringleader. The ringleader is going to use part of their action to um, try and move the moonbeam, which was which was here, um, mm -hmm. but is blind and as a result cannot do anything. Um, so uh, the effect the effect of the blindness and stuff. Can I roll to get rid of it on my turn? At the end of your turn. At the end of my turn, okay. Um, in that case, I shall... 
I'm contemplating this, okay? This is what I'm thinking. Um, I would like to assume the wild shape of the chalice. Okay. Um, and this is to increase the amount of healing that I can do, because I want to do some healing. But also it's to hopefully like get rid of some of the grit from my eyes and cause me to re-roll in my turn. Because otherwise, I can't like help marbles. Is that something that you would work? You get a or is roll at the end of your turn. Yeah, it's a it's just a roll at the end of the turn. That's just okay. Uh, it, in a way, it helped you guys in the first turn because you didn't have to worry about yeah until after you'd already done all your attacks. So fair enough, fair enough. Um, so yes, sadly, uh, I'm sorry, marble, but uh, yeah. I, I can't I can't give you some healing okay. this turn, but I can, but I will next turn. Um, so yeah, that's going to be me. I'm going to roll. I'm going to kind of like uh, basically like try to crawl away from the from the married right now. So I'll just be like that. Um, and yeah, the that will be my turn. I will roll the Constitution. Oh, a nine. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Walks. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna punch it again. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I have an advantage. Uh, so let's put it for do. Oh, literally the same. So, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh. Quite, yeah, so it takes 10, and then I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna axe and search, and punch it again. Okay. Nope. Now and... you still do have advantage. Yes. I'm so nice, I don't know why I'm nice, but. <laughs> no, I do. Oh, yep, you did, you I got a nine, it. sorry. Thank you. Uh, and then Thank I you. would like to use my bonus action to attempt to bite it. Using hung right. Hungry, hungry Jaws. Have you used your bardic inspiration yet? No, I ha Oh, that's right. I could use it for that. Um, what is it? It is a what? A D what? A D6. Uh, I don't think... I think the likelihood of hit ending up that turning that into a hit is very low. Um, I'm, I'll use it on the Hungry Jaws bite if it, um, if it uh, isn't... If it's, like, closer to actually hitting. So, yeah, let's see if biting will work. Okay, that I'm gonna use the d6 from the biting inspiration for. Does 14 hit? It does not. Okay. Oh, that's my turn, and I need to go on a con save. 11. That's, I'm probably. No, blind. it's not enough. Um, so, you are now blinded. You, you, it's just, it's torn, like the whipping, whipping wind being so close to it is just torn through. And I did just stick my head in it. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, ah, oh, ow. So you are now blinded. So. Yeah, that is, uh. With you, a bleeding eye on you. That's All my right. turn. Okay, so, um, let's see, Walks, yes. um, Temerity, and Marble, you all have to make strength saving throws. Uh-oh. Yay! Oh, not with advantage, sorry. Ha <laughs> nope. Oh. Wow. Hi, guys. Well, Wolks right, well, made it, I think. Wolks did make it. Everybody else is flung 20 feet away. 
um, and takes 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh, sh- Haha, I am out. Um, so, uh, t- you take seven bludgeoning damage, Wolves. Okay. Um, I am not down. Yeah. See how much bludgeoning damage is that again? 15. And you are, um, you are, let's see, knocked prone, and Marble is knocked prone. And out. I am knocked out. out. You are completely knocked out. Yes, so. I am a knockout. Oh, and I landed near Viani. That's fun. Yes, very handy. (laughs) And I have no idea that any of this has happened. I just hear wind and have yeah. this thing. <laughs> and, then and, all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, there's no one next to you. Marvel is lying on the ground. <laughs> well, I don't know that. I'm blinded. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where am I? Who am I? I okay. heard a whoosh. Okay, I haven't got... I know who I am. I haven't... It's not, it's not fucking an amnesia wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that much is fun. All right, so Marble, I need a death save. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I know. I was about to say, aren't don't you? <laughs> uh, thanks. What will it be? I was gonna heal myself on my turn too. Yeah. <laughs> Roll a death save. Okay. Well, she rolls one for me. Yeah. I did. <laughs> okay. It didn't sound good, so. So, Viotti, you saw a <laughs> marble get flung through the air. You remember how good that feels, and she's just landed. <laughs> and landed, just not even moving. All right, she's going to one, two, three, take her movement over there, and kneel down and to cast Cure Wounds on her. No. Oh, well, yeah, level one. Sorry, I forgot that there's a two-part Yay. step. Yeah. Uh, Yay. one? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> You're awake! Okay. Thank you, level one spells. Thank you. <laughs> but it also no, does not sneak attack, so... <laughs> All right, well, I'll say since it happened that you did fail the death save, so that's good. Yeah, you, know, I, you don't I have could, to worry I about that. T- I could tell. <laughs> I could tell because of your voice that I failed it. Ooh, yeah. All right. Marvel's just going to wake up and be like, what? <laughs> and let's see. Let's see. That brings us to Vianney. Um, oh, yeah. Vianney, do a con save. Okay. Oh, I hate fighting air ele- elementals. Oof. She's learning how to stay nice. in a dirty wind now. Um, I guess Marble does have to do a con save as well. To see Yay. if when she wakes up, she's able to hmm. see how far are you from it? 20 feet, right? Yeah, I'm 20 feet away. No, you're yeah. blinded. 20 to Sorry. 25. I'm blinded now. Yeah. Blinded by the light. So you wake up. You wake, you wake up. You've got like one. Elemental. You're barely up and you just turn like, what's going on? And go, ow. My eyes. eyeballs. My eyeballs hurt. Purple. What is going on? Purple. All right. Blinded. Um, which brings us to Temerity. We'll stand up using half their movement, then use the other half of the movement to get back into melee range. Yay for 40 feet. <laughs> and then Spear Attack, 13. 18. No. 18? Oh, yes, you're oh, right. 18, yes. I don't know, does, does the flag yes, still hits. count even if I'm blind? blind? Yeah, <laughs> you're still there. I don't think it makes any difference, so. Okay. You're being threatening. And then, you know what, key point. So that is two. Wait, 
Oh, yeah, what? two unarmed. Cool. So you spent a key point. And then 19 for six. And a 16 for four. Okay. Yeah, those both hit. And you're getting it. It's starting to be like a little petered out there. Uh, and here's the con save. Nine. Yeah, you're blind, though. <laughs> but, y you know, that was... It was a hey, good start. It did, it did something. It did. I don't know. It's not letting me just hit you. Come on. Can you get the blinded on yourself? Blind yourself. <laughs> it's too much stuff there. <laughs> okay. There it is. All right. So you're kind of like both of you. Uh, I painting a word picture here because there's just this whirlwind swooping and flowing on top of around. A dead scorpion. <laughs> on top of a dead <laughs> scorpion, which just like it's being hollowed out and pulverized by the pressure and just coated with sand and our two heroes are on either side both of them like <laughs> reaching out with their hands blindly <laughs> eyes bleeding you know uh, looking awful and yeah that brings us to Zill just look from the <laughs> from a distance watching this happen I hate it for them uh, let's see. I guess I will cast um, <laughs> Toll of the Dead. Okay. The bells, the bells. Damn it. It never gets, it just, it's not Five noise, more necrotic. <sighs> okay. Um, roll a con save. Okay. Hmm, yep, nice. you made it. All right. Ringleader. Right. I am going to uh, cast. So I'm going to cast with my bits and bobs uh, a, another guiding bolt. Uh, so this is going to be at disadvantage, remember? Okay. 19. Yeah, that hits. 19 damage. Yeah, you just, you, you feel your way into the, the wind and just hurl something at the, at the very source of it. And oh. actually, it's a radiant damage. Just yeah. hang on a sec. Uh... That's 90. That's, a, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, surprised. 46, you can... but it's also a lot of damage. You, can, you can't see, so I guess it would be hard for you, but describe what other people see as you destroy this thing. So, so like, <laughs> like I said, this is kind of a bit like a... Um, a well, it's called a hyperhydraulic uh, hyperhydraulic laser. Uh, it's just this like principle of taking a very very small amount of highly viscous fluid and shooting it at high speed under high pressure at things. Oh, like and... the things that cut things like with water. Yeah, yeah. Um, except it doesn't use any grit, which is what those things sometimes mm. do. You know. But it's kind of like it's the the principle of it is that it's just this very 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 small very compact piece of fluid, um, and the guiding bolt. Um, what I th I like the idea of it just being like idiot savanting it of um, he uh, of um, the ringleader shoots it and it just goes wide, but the sheer tumult of the wind causes this you know very light fluid to like straight up just prang out of its own trajectory and slam 
you know, into the tiny core that create that is like the heart, the soul, the mind of this married. And like it immediate, it's kind of like that image of like, you know, uh, one strike that, you know, just kills the wind. It just splits the sky kind of thing. And uh, Find yeah, souls poured. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'll I'll roll my constitution to see if I actually can see anything. No, nope, I'm still blind. I'm like like as soon as the wind dies down, I'm like, Eldon, Eldon, <laughs> I can't see. Like, there's no wind, but I'm still blind. <laughs> Oh, no, sorry, Elton isn't here. Bianne! Bianne! Can't say! <laughs> so unfortunate that Elton's not here. Bianne! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think um, considering the time, we're a little later than we would usually be to take yeah. our break. We should take our break now and then come back, what, in 20 minutes? 8.05? Yeah. Right. Five yeah. after the hour? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. I will right. switch it to break. Right now, Viani and Zill are the only ones who can see. So you're watching <laughs> everyone else stagger around. Marble has one hit point still. She's like yes. practically about to collapse. Um, I'm just still sitting other, on the ground. <laughs> the other tired. two are kind of bloodied. Um, the uh oh, the ringleader is up wings. like did i get it did did i get it <laughs> what did i get it <laughs> got it you know <laughs> oh no I, 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 I understand and accept the fact that my character is a fucking like annoying shit oh like, yeah, dislike, okay. i dislike I the idea that it is I adore your I, character. I love, I love how at this point your character's instinct is to just go, Elden! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess start to um, <clears throat> start to lead my blind compatriots like together, sit them all in an area so they can sit down and wipe the dirt out of their eyes, I guess is what Viani would be doing. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything on you that you could wipe the dirt with? Um, I've got a flask of oil. I guess I could use. A little... <laughs> well, if you... I don't want to waste water, right? You don't want to just dump water in your eyes. I'm just trying to think if, like, you could oh. use if the oil could kind of like use it to gather up some of the dirt around your eyes and then wipe it off with like your shirt or a handkerchief or something. Wet. If we could wet a rag with. Yeah, like you stuff. don't need that much I, water. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm just pretty. And it's just to and, and, and get get out your water skins then. Mm -hmm. Wet your bottoms and your yeah. shirts. I don't have a shirt. I need. I need. I need a shirt. Um, I'm wearing <laughs> a leotard. No shirt. <laughs> Marble and I need a shirt. Does it need a shirt? You could just like phagocyte toes the dirt away. <laughs> It's not how this works. <laughs> Ask the, the bio guy. Magical blob. All right, so we clean them up. We clean them up. Okay. Yes, there we go. All right, so... I mean, it's not the first time I've gotten sand in my eyes. <laughs> right, so you're now unblinded. You're Yay. sort of like, oh, God. Um, You look around... I will let someone roll a d6, and on a six, you can get something out of the scorpion. But it's had an air elemental sitting on its ass for yeah, yeah a nope, while. So bad. who do we trust? <laughs> I think the ringleader. Who do we here. trust here? <laughs> nope. Oh, there's nothing left. Darn. I'm sorry, there's guys. Nothing left. You just I look wanna, at. I want to like, roll to see what I would have rolled. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> there is absolutely it is all the bits and chunks have been like thrown for 20, 30, 40 feet. They're all encrusted with sand and grit. Half of them are buried or broken. There is nothing left that is usable anyway. There's plenty of 
sandy guts, but that's about it. That stinger could be useful. It could be. There, the tail venom sack. I mean, it's all torn apart. Yeah. Ah, oh. uh, okay. It's been it's been for like. You were all two with... ones. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, nothing. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything of interest left over, like that it, the air, air elemental had picked up, that's like been dropped now that it's uh, no longer there? Um, you can roll a perception or investigation. Yeah, I was about to say the next thing Marble would have wanted to do is like yeah. check the area around the air elemental and see if she could find anything someone interesting. Probably, I can do help. an investigation. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna help someone else, someone else because mine and I don't mind yeah. a, a, that good. All right, that. mine's a seven. Mine, so yeah, my I'm proficient in perception, but so yeah. nineteen with help. Yeah, plus so one. Twenty. Yeah. So twenty investigation. Ooh, teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, unfortunately, there's, there's what looks like a little blue pebble that is swimming and in sort of the, the color blue keeps moving around the pebble. And if you get close to it, you can hear it kind of go, shh. Like it's a, the sound of an ocean or it's shushing us. <laughs> you mean it's almost like a marble. It's almost like a marble that makes a windy smell, the windy sound. Oh, I look at Wolks and say we should take this to Zill. All right, pick it. Up. I pick it up. Does anything happen? No. I pick it up and go over and hand it I'll to follow. Zill. Seer, can you tell me anything about this? I drop it into his hand. <laughs> uh, well, uh, of course, of course. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do you want to roll Arcana? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can feel free to make some shit up. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> uh, well, folks, this is the eye of an elemental. This is... um what is left of it once it is destroyed the only thing that of any actual um material form is its eye which floats freely in the vortex i am gonna rule an insight as well <laughs> <laughs> hold on all marble all marble's gonna do is be like "Ooh, it's, it's it really pretty can i have it i'm looking for my rule hold on no. Yeah, uh, the fact that <laughs> both can tell you're full of shit. <laughs> but it... I didn't see any eye floating around. Well, there's a lot of sand, of course. I was right. Can I do an okay, I've changed my mind. I want this guy doing the negotiations, not Selden. At least when he's <laughs> doing bullshit, he's not putting himself in physical danger. That's true. Anyway, I'm not totally certain what it does. Um, though it would be interesting to hold on to. Um, Marble, do you want sand. to... Um, did you want to do... An, oh, God, I'm sorry. I Delete. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Where Marble. did they go? Oh, I no. didn't mean... You disappeared. Sand. You'll have to oh, put no. yourself back. <laughs> 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 Every time, it's always me. All right, I was trying to take the blinded off you. You guys are gonna have to take the blinded off yourself. I'm bad at this. All right, so I I'm nowhere. <laughs> but you can roll an arcana if you want. <laughs> nope, I know nothing. It's just sh shiny marble to me. Ooh, shiny marble. Can I have it? It's a marble. I'm marble. Marble in the sky that died. Exactly. I'd still ask exactly. you That's about it. I am. I'm marble in the sky. With glowy iridescent balls of glue. Doesn't that's the, the song doesn't work with that as well. It is... can, can I have the marble? 
Because we thought diamonds she's, and she's gonna like She's going to, like, paw at it in Zill's hands. She's just going to, like, paw at it. Like, can I can I have it? Go can for I... it. <laughs> and she's going to snatch it up and be like, mm, shiny. <laughs> and then put it in her pocket. <laughs> yeah, even the drow have to request cats. I just don't know what it does. And if it does something horrible, then at least it doesn't do her. I just think you like cats. Oh, yes, I love, love cats. See, I knew it was your favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh. You're She's just going to skip off people. happily with a marble. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't eat that. No, but you know. still got plenty of biscuits. Yeah, it was good to get some exercise. Yeah, we tried. All right, should we continue on now that it's safe? Yes, let's go back to the carts. Ooh. Yeah, All so right. we'll go back to the carts. Giddy up! Mm -hmm. All right, so and I'm you... gonna drink my healing potion. You just take a short rest. <laughs> save the healing potion. Oh. Yeah. That's true. Now I'll just chill on the cart. Roll my hit dice. Look at All my right. pretty pebble. My marble. Yeah, I'm gonna roll my some hit dice as well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, those are some good ass rolls. <laughs> Holy shit. And then I come along. All right. So you make it back to your carts and you take off again. And let's see. So are the same people in the front? I'm assuming so. so. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, Marble, once again, you can roll perception with advantage. Uh, Zill, why don't you roll the d6? 25. Okay. And a four. All right. Um, so somebody roll a D eight. Oh, there we go. What was it? It's a six. Six. All right. So, uh, you're traveling along, and Marble, you see, as you're going on. You almost have to fall over it until you see it. It's just, you know, you mm -hmm. still got some of that gunk in your eyes. It's yucky. But you do see in front of you that there is uh, basically half covered by a dune, the skeleton of a man and a camel together. She's going to jump up and point it out to the others. You're like, let's there's go a, check it out. There's a back. What exactly? The skeleton of there's a man. There's a skeleton of a man skeletons. and a camel. We should go check it out. They might have stuff on them. So I go. Away. I'll, huh? I'll go with whoever's checking. So that's I'm going to go check. I'm going to go poke it. Okay. I'll um, go with as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out as. as they check it out. I think the theme of this campaign is who is going to babysit Marble? <laughs> actually, uh, actually, actually, no. It's probably going to be. Um, is there a thing? Is there a sub? Is there a thing that Chrissy's going to put in front of us that we're not just going to walk up to and start poking <laughs> until it tries to kill us? 
The answer to that is no. We yeah. already know that. <laughs> Curiosity killed we Kat. Didn't, we didn't do that to the scorpion. Besides, I'm, I'm pretty dead, sure yes. it's Elden is the one who's most likely to get himself killed. Yeah. You already went down. That is true. Today. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, let's go. Come on, um, I'll back them up. Are we sn sneaking up? Just being... Yeah, I want to do perception check around. Just also... Yeah, right. look as we get closer. Back. Oh, f I get to re-roll because I'm an halfling. <laughs> no, don't help me with that. <laughs> That's fair. All right. So Yay. What you can see from just looking around, you don't see any obvious signs of uh, traps or anything like that. Um, you see that the clothes that are sort of fluttering around the um, the person's uh, skeleton, uh, which has been baked in the sun, are of very high quality, even though now they're all torn and a mess. But you could tell these were like silks, these were satins. There's some really beautiful uh, stuff there. Um, it's hard to tell just by looking because he's half buried again um, what happened or anything like that. But you don't see any obvious signs that anything is going to like jump out at you or anything. Should we dig? I mean, yeah. Should check his pockets. Any gold on him. Or All information. Right, well, I'll start to dig. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's digging. <laughs> Okay, see if we can get the rest of them out of the sand. All right, um, just roll athletics, folks. <laughs> yeah, you get him. You get him and the camel out pretty quickly. Um, there's both like nothing left of them. You do see that there is a a purse uh, still attached to the man, being buried in the sand and and. Um, seems to have protected it a little bit it's not as uh, the the stuff that was under the sand is less less torn up than the other so peek inside yeah let's look yeah i'll pick it up and have a look all right um you pick it up you look at it uh, let's see. Wolks, uh, do you have any um, knowledge of maps? Not, like, innately. Like, I'm sure I'm familiar with the concept, but it's not like... The, like, the Lizardfolk tribe wouldn't have used maps that often. It's probably something we've, we would have found on Travelers or seen, and I would probably have seen it, like, as we plan for stuff after mm -hmm. I got to the circus, but no, not, like, other than right. that, no. So this is a map, you know that much, but you don't really... It, it's got a lot of writing and a lot of, like, directions and stuff, and you're not that familiar Do with I reading maps. Do I recognize the language of the writing? What languages do you know? I know um, Draconic, Common, and Orcish. No. There are some common words on it, but that's not the main. Okay. I will hand it over to uh, Viani. Yeah, I speak common so, dwarvish, elvish, so and map. halfling. Yeah. It's dwarvish, so huh. you can see. This is a treasure map. It Ooh. talks about um, <laughs> the treasure of oafish heart bottom. Oh fish uh, heart bottom. Yeah. Oh shit, I heart that bottom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which is very strange. You've never seen such a, a name thing. before. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what the name it claims that the um is you can tell that this guy cuz there's uh, directions from the oasis that you are in. And you can tell that this guy got like halfway there to wherever he was going. And there's some sort of, um, it appears to you, well, why don't you roll uh, intelligence? Okay, one intelligence roll coming up. 
not my best score, but it's not mm, that should have been a dumb stat. It really <laughs> confuses you. Okay. I, all right. I got the dwarvish part in the language. Let's yeah, take this, this back. This is a treasure map, and there are a bunch of weird instructions and arrows pointing in different places. So, Okay. Should we take this back and uh, have someone with a higher intelligence try to figure, between my language skills and their brains, figure this out? I would like to grab I mean, the... I have pretty high intelligence. Oh, well, you want to have a go? Plus three. All right, I've got a plus two, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you roll? can use a fresh roll. Well, just what roll and see roll? what you get. What am I rolling? Intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, straight intelligence? Okay. Yeah. Oof, look at that. <laughs> you puzzle over it for a second, and then you go, oh, okay, I get it. Um, and so what you can tell is that you have to go to where the moaning mesas start and that there is going to be a place with three of those cylindrical tower uh, like things. You have to wait mm -hmm. till midday and there will be um, the light comes down, reflects off of the middle stone and shows the way to the treasure of Ophish Heart Bottom. I let them know this. All right, let's take it back to the crew. Yeah. Side quest. <laughs> We're going to spend forever in this desert. Yeah. We're getting quite a few side quests. Oh, yeah, we are. We'll um, go back and I would like them. to uh, uh, grab the, one of the femurs of the camel. Okay. Skeleton and take that with me. Yeah, no problem. Would there be any particular bones that my aunt would want? Oh, that's a good point. I mean, they're probably—I doubt there's any like much organic material left on them. But <laughs> yeah, she definitely. usually likes eyes and brains. I mean, you could, and, and this is mostly bone. You could try the hair. Maybe she wants mm. hair. Mm. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm still I'll going wait to it do out. Like a quick Find investigation. Her some eyes in the All brain. Right. I'd like to do a quick investigation, just check over. Sure, go ahead. 15. Um, what you can see, you see that there was, um, the man has a whip on his hand, in his hand, and it's like he was, um, you get the sense that he was beating this animal and either the animal just decided to sit its ass down and not go any further and fuck you, you can't tell, or uh, he managed to hurt it enough that it fell backwards on his ass. But you, you, that is the sense that you get that there was some sort of accident involving some asshole who beat his camel up too bad. And that's about it. Okay. Um, I now know how much a camel femur weighs. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I'm gonna say. Um, I don't like this person. This skeleton is very bad. It hurt the camel. I don't like it. And I just kind of like float the fuck away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick the skeleton. I'm just gonna kick it. Be like, it's fuck you. Dead. It's the principle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna kick it again, just because he questioned. You're, me. you're gonna get a you're gonna get a ghost coming after. He's like, why are you coming after me? You disturbed my skeleton. Whoa. Well, maybe it's, you it's shouldn't gonna, have been an no, asshole. No. It's gonna be the camel's ghost. And it's gonna <laughs> limp because I stole its femur. <laughs> oh god. And it's oh, just gonna god. follow me because it likes to me. get fucking dark with it. Jesus Christ, bro. Luckily, as you all know, that there are um undead magnets around here, so it's just gonna go off and find itself in that um undead the water traps we haven't messed with. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> You're welcome. 
rumpus room for the undead that you guys just were just last <laughs> so recently mm -hmm. hell yeah all right so if you go back uh, the guy will look in uh, your leader will look and say well this is a couple of days away in the right direction though same direction not that far out of the way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm with Viani. Alex, does this it. take us to the lizard people? Ah, uh, well, it's hard to tell because it's hard to know where the lizard people are exactly right now. They're not following their usual patterns for some reason. Um, but probably not that close Ooh. I mean basically I don't know um, how to keep you away from the lizard people because I don't know where they're going to be that's fair and enough if they migrate then they're not following the usual patterns I won't know either I'll just cross that bridge when we come to it mm. What bridge? Maybe we can give him a blue. Oh, well, we'll deal with that it, situation. It, we'll get it. We can give him the blue singing marble, yeah. maybe. No, it's my marble. But they might buy him off. Have you shown it to your aunt yet? No, I haven't. And then she's gonna like dash off and go show her aunt. Hmm. Even Timothy's gonna laugh at that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Very what much your ADHD aunt moment. Knows. Oh, I don't really know what this is. I haven't seen anything like that. Could be worth money. You should put it in a very safe place. I, oh, I should. And then she's just going to run around trying to find a safe place to put it in. All right. She says, well, I've got a little box for you here. It's a, it's a metal box. It'll keep it nice and safe. And she's just going to plop the marble in there and look way too proud of herself and then go join everybody else in the conversation. Oh, and give her auntie a kiss on his cheek before she goes. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. She gives, she pinches your cheek. And then she's going to skip off and be like, oh, I have it hidden now. <laughs> Come out. What? Don't tell him. To... Okay. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> yeah, nobody's seen Eldon for a while. He he keeps just he comes out sometimes, gets like some water, looks like shit, and he says, "I've got that um." Hammer, hammer, be done soon. Hammer. Ten out of ten, Elden impression. <laughs> <laughs> Would poison again. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Every I'm day, Bertie just like, goes and pops some biscuits inside the, the like caravan for R and D's gonna watch this later, and it's just gonna be funny. <laughs> hey, R and D from the future. <laughs> Let me know when you get to this part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Elden has the shits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and help Elden, but my method of helping is he seems to want to stay in his room, so I'm gonna lock his door for him. <laughs> <laughs> lock him in his room. <laughs> If you don't want to come Captain he does have to slice the cookies under the door. Ah, um, <laughs> well, we, you'll, you'll discover that actually uh, the ringleader has become, <laughs> become Elden's door. We're all just like, where the hell did the ringleader go? And then you go to give him his biscuits. You're like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are there two doors? <laughs> There's one that's open and one that's closed. <laughs> Why did he have a double door? I just don't, I don't get it. 
<laughs> I just want to be very clear. The ringleader is an idiot. Yes. But he does do, but the ringleader does do shit. Like it's yeah. not like the ringleader just like floats around every now and then just decides, okay, I'm gonna become part of this wall fixture. All right. They they they, they do, do ringleader stuff. It's just really boring. <laughs> I just find that to be the least interesting part of their life. Yeah, I get the sense that uh Calio kind of humors you a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, whatever you're gonna do, he's all for it. <sighs> and Hell he's yeah. there to help you out anytime you need it. So you, you go be. and, you know, uh, I don't think you get like a sexual energy from him. It doesn't have to be sexual, I ship it. It's a friendship. Oh, well, there you go. Yes, he did. Um, I don't know. If you if ever you want to talk to Calio, you can do that. But so far nobody's been doing I that. Have. So. Multiple times. Yeah. Well, I mean Calio is just if very you ever nice want to you. see uh one anything about the Calio's internal lives of these yeah. people. Yeah. I can do, yeah. I can do. They all have them. But okay. you don't need to you don't necessarily need to worry about them. Hmm. It's just there well, if you get want to them eventually. Come to uh, come to that. That's probably gonna be a thing. Like next Probably next session or something. I'll make a point of like talking to you. one of the one of the followers. Just I because mean, you have you have a lot of people still to, to go through and talk to. Yeah, you were planning to go through. Did you want to go through and talk to one of the players today? Or I think you only got to Zill. Oh yeah, I did say that. Um, actually, sure. Um. I mean, I, I did speak to Temerity, I think. I was asking Temerity how they're doing. Yeah, I think I'm, so. I'm going to go to... I'm actually going to go to um, Volks and yeah. everything. And... Um, you will find me working on turning the camel femur into a uh, javelin. Hello, Volks. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Fine. Good. What are you making? A javelin. Why? Because I la currently lack any way of attacking things at range. And this camel femur is good material. But can't you throw punches? No. Punch, I can only punch things that are within my reach. But can't you throw punches? I just answered it, no. Okay. The ringleader is very unhappy. That was their only joke. <laughs> um... <laughs> You're, I want to. You're tr I, as a player, yeah, I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. That was the joke. That was the joke. That's the meta joke. The actual joke is, you know, the ringleader is just trying to be funny, but it's not working. Um, anyway, uh, the ringleader is just going to be quiet for a bit and um, kind of like grapple with it. You get, uh, Vault, you kind of get the impression that like the ringleader is trying to ask you something, but like just doesn't but you just can't really understand what it is mm -hmm. um and so they ask kind of like um why are you making it from a bone what what are you making it with are you going to throw it far and just kind of like ask these weird superfluous questions and in the end they'll kind of say folks do you like me I don't understand what you mean. Do you like uh, Biani? She, both you and her have been valuable allies on this journey. D 
Do you like the circus? It provides. It is. It gives me an opportunity. It gives me a, a home and a and a tribe. So it provides protection, and it gives me a natural opportunity to improve my skills. So yes, I would. I guess you would say yes. I like that. I like it. Good. I like you. Okay. Did you well, join the circus because you wanted to get stronger? In part, yes. It offered a no, it. I can provide. I can provide for this tribe by getting stronger. Since that is what what my role requires. You don't speak. You don't talk about tribes. Is this a tribe? It is. It's a tribe to me. Do you... I guess you would use the word family. Hmm. I think family is a people thing. I'm not people, so... You're a person. Like, the the ringleader's kind of like uh, swaying back and side to side kind of thing. You kind of get the impression it's kind of like to the wind or so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just, like, shoveling a piece of camel bone. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is important that w that I have a good rapport and communication level with my circus companions. Makes sense. It, it, it gives you this. the impression that I'm reading that, but I'm not. I haven't got anything to read. <laughs> oh, Walsh is not going to notice that. He's just going to notice that you, what you say and respond to it in earnest. Mm -hmm. So, do you? have anything you want to say about what i don't know then why did you ask me because i think that you i think that i can help you but what? i don't know what for I don't have any problems that I think you would be able to help me with. Help me with. The only thing you can, your current, you can help me with. You're currently already doing by helping me get, get to where we need to go. Do you want to get across the desert for the yes. circus? Yes, that is where we're going. Okay. And the ringleader is going to like float away, you know, kind of like just do his usual, th do their usual thing of just kind of like rolling the fuck out of the room. Okay. Well, Walsh is going to be like, yeah, okay, that was a thing, and continue working on making his javelin. Hmm. Yeah. I suddenly came to realize that having two people who speak in like very weird ways yes. is, is kind of it's kind of a bizarre fucking decision on my part to it's make. It's such a great conversation to listen to. <laughs> because okay. you're asking you're asking the the guy who the guy who just <laughs> the, the the guy who, who doesn't really display emotions and just takes everything at face value and literally yeah. These questions, it's great. I love it. Any case, there we are. Uh, <laughs> that's me. That's what I'm up to. 
I apologize. I've monopolized too much. So no, go. no, that was great. other people. Other people do things, please. All right. So moving on from that, then, um, yeah, you guys. Uh, unless there's something else that people want to do, uh, <laughs> you travel for Wait, another couple of days. Might but. Temerity might, ask, might approach Aunt Mimsy to ask if she knows any good non-magical ways of preserving meats, other than salting. Hmm. Auntie Mimsy. What would Auntie Mimsy know about that? Uh, well, you, first of all, eat them. The quicker you eat everything that you have, the less you have to worry. So, uh, that's what cats do, mostly. But let me think. If you don't want to eat, um, hmm, it depends on the food. So you've said you've already tried salting it. Mm -hmm. And then there's keeping it cold, uh, keeping it in cool, dark places often helps. Uh, sometimes you can wrap it in like leaves and such that will inhibit the process of it getting bad. Um, Big, broad, waxy leaves, I assume. Yeah. Also, I think the easiest way- Damn, in should have grabbed those while we were at the- should have grabbed some of those while we were at the Oasis then. Hmm. I think the best way in the desert would probably be to dehydrate the food. You know, leave it out in the sun, let it suck out all the juices. Uh, once it's dehydrated, then it usually travels well. And then later you can always add some water to rehydrate it or broth or something of the like. That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Well, it's like, you know how you take a grape and you bear it into, uh, oh, well, you know, meat. You could, you could smoke it. Might take time. But you can dry it as well. Dried out meats are a thing. Mm -hmm. Jerky. I've never done it. Like I say, I'm a cat. Cats just eat the meat. We have meat, we eat the meat. Then we get more meat when we need it. I find that that's the best way. And goblins, I, I live with the goblins, remember? They either eat the meat or they just let it go bad because they don't really care. And then they still eat it. Yeah. Not quite an option for us crossing the desert, but... Good to know if we have any goblins. We're fine for the moment. Hmm. Yeah, they're not as bad always as people think they are. Sometimes they are just as bad as everybody says they are. But sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're very... Um, uh, nice. They're like rowdy children. Sometimes. You know. But you can learn a lot from a goblin. Not as much as you can learn from a cat. Cats, <sighs> then goblins. Goblins being way down from cats. That's how that works. And who doesn't love a good cat? <laughs> what a crazy question. Everybody does. Literally no one. Actually. Thank you for the advice. Anytime. You're a good little demon, aren't you? I'm just going to say yes. And walk out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She gives you a meow. Right. Anybody else? I'm good. 
Okay. So uh, another couple of days go by, travel, and you finally make it to the part where the three, you know, I should look up what these things are called, these sort of projectile things in the mesas. I know that there's a word for them. Anyway, the big, tall things that stand up in a mesa. Like a plateau? Uh, well, they're like plateaus. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Or, or is it the ones where they're like much thinner and like they're almost looks like they're balanced on the on top? Yeah, they're more like pe peaks or points or more like yeah. a ridge. There's like some of them are are smaller, some of them are thicker as you go by. They're all just they're just mesas, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, you go to a place where there's three of these upright plateau looking things together. Um, yeah, and if you wait until the sun comes up, uh, there is a reflection and the light reflects onto the first mesa from the west, up at the top. Oh. I think I think the word you're looking for might be boot, or boot, I'm not sure. B there you go, boot. Yes, yeah. that's it, I knew it. You mean like there's a reflection, like there's a mirror or something up there? How would you find out? Well, in so, the flat, was it like a flash, like a flash of sunlight that would remind one of a mirror? When you say the reflection, I don't know exactly what, how to interpret that visually. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. It's not exactly a mirror, but when you come up a little closer, you see that there has been a crystal inlaid into the mesa. And the crystal is refracted and the light points to the top of the first mesa from the west. Oh, okay. Who it's wants very, to climb? Yeah. Who wants to climb? Um, or is it, wait, wait, wait we've got someone who can fly. Yeah, we have two people oh, who have, have a climb speed. We have a two people who have a climb speed and one that can just fly up there. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit down for this one. <laughs> so you'd like me to fly up? Seems the most sensible thing, but you might want to also just I, I look, fly up at the same rate as your friends are climbing. I look, I look at Marble. Cat, do you want to race? <gasps> yes. Gonna do a climb. Wait, it's walk suit. It's is Wilkes engaged in a competition? Yes. <laughs> Compet competition. Temerity would probably want in on that. Fiani Com pipes Competition up. breeds um, is a way. I'm already starting to climb. I'm getting a head start. Well, <laughs> this is like half of a character. Like as soon as she's at, as Marvel says, yes, Wilkes starts running towards it. I've, oh, yeah. I want to see Temerity yeah. in on this too. All right, so what are both of your speeds, basically, to start with? Uh, 25 is my climb 30. Speed. Oh, that's my walking speed, my yeah, climb, your speed? climb speed? Yeah, your climb speed yeah. is also 25. I specifically took okay. climb speed from um, Sebaxi. All right, yeah. so you guys are going to have to roll decks or, uh, um, yeah, acrobatics. Let's do acrobatics. All right. Oh, I can't just power, like, power up with athletics? Okay. Ha. Huh. You're looking for speed, not power. That's yeah. true. Okay. Oof. Nope. Um, <laughs> at a certain point, because you're going as, as fast as you can, you kind of slip a little with your foot. And you end up sort of dangling off the side for a bit. You get right back on it and end up there. But 
by that time, Marble has gotten up to the top. Temerity, are you also there? Temerity's flight speed is 40. <laughs> yes. So you're like, yes. okay, cool. Marble's just going to be jumping up and down like, woo, ha, I beat you, lizard man. Cats are superior. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, there so is there is a hole in the top of the butt. When you look down, it looks like there's. I just want to point out how funny that was. <laughs> there's a hole in the top of the butt. <laughs> That's what. Okay, like in so the I'm, I want to go ahead and say this. It's like as soon as they as soon as they see the hole, Marble's gonna yell over the side. There's a hole in the butt. <laughs> Biani's gonna yell back. Is there also there's a geyser? A... I don't know, but there's a butthole up here. Yes, oafish heart bottom. <laughs> Put a hole in the butt. So that's <laughs> there's a there's a hole in the heart bottom. There's a butthole. <laughs> there's a hole in heart bottom's butt. <laughs> it is a little heart shaped too. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and there appears to be like a stairs, like a spiral staircase put into it that goes oh. down. Well, a substantial hole then. It's a big butthole. It's a big butthole. It's a big hole in Heart Bottom's butt that goes down. Kind of hard to see. It's, um, it's kind of narrow, you know what I mean? Like it's hard because of the way that it it um, it spirals. It's hard to see too far. Hmm. Well, let's have a look. Let's go. You're All right. made to take yes. the lead. I mean, you can. You're not up here. You fly faster than we climb. There are only three of you <laughs> up there right now, just to remind you. Yes. Uh, yeah, and we do need to get everyone can't up. fly down because of just it's just too narrow and twisty. Like, it wouldn't make sense to fly. We need You'd to just throw be ropes whacking so your head on the... You wouldn't be able to spread your wings. Oh, I can fly down and pick up Fiani. That's not a problem. True. And the ringleader. The ringleader shouldn't re weigh that much. Get. I don't know. Have you seen how he carried his hat for a few minutes? He's also full of gold. Well, <laughs> I don't weigh that much. It's fine. I can climb. Yeah. I will slime. And then this is You will slime up. I will slime. Oh, how high? I will are slime. You? I, I will slime the acrobatics. You're like sixty feet up. Okay. Well, I will. I will um, take up my. I think I have a rope. Yeah, I have a rope. I will uh, take out my fifty feet rope and. Um, can I find something to tie it to up here? Is there like an outcropping that seems stable? Who uh, roll perception. Okay. 22. After prowling around, you find one kind of outcropping that looks like it would bear some weight. I will tie the rope to that and then throw it over the side so that the rest of them can get up. Okay, does everyone... I will fly. All right, uh, acrobatics or athletics, either one. <laughs> it's like your your slimy little appendages just do not seem to want to grip this rope, and, and, and you keep sliding back rope. down. <laughs> mm. God damn it! You haven't singed it yet. <laughs> Uh, I anybody think it would else be best have... for you to just scoop him up in his hat and bring him up here. <sighs> I 
turns, he steps off the side and calmly glides down. It's easy enough. You can grab him. You can. Uh, he's within your lifting uh, capacity, so your carrying capacity, so you can get him back up. Uh, Viani, do you want to try climbing or? No, do you I've want... got a lift. Didn't All I get right. a lift from? Because I'm just tiny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can get Viani as well. Yeah. Sorry, Zoe, so you're gonna have to climb. I mean, it's, I can climb pretty easily. I'm very good at acrobatics if Zill doesn't want to take the chance of falling. What exactly is up there? Stairs. The butthole. The butthole. We're going to go down the butthole. Uh-huh. We're going to go explore the butthole. <laughs> There's treasure in the butthole. The gaping butthole. We're... <laughs> not, on, not only are we, are we geologists, we're also proctologists. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Elvin's missing out. <laughs> sure, I'll join you. Excellent. Wait, let me just get the Addy up to that rope because someone forgot it's only 50 feet. And then I'll pick you up as well. Fine. Okay, so you need acrobatics from me? Uh... Yeah, you, you make it up fine. Oh, wow. Not a problem. You're practically dancing up. All right, so you get there. You see exactly what has been described. A spiral staircase carved into a butthole. Dark uh, vision, people, maybe, up front? Let's go. And Marvel's right, going to so start climbing down the stairs. What is the... And um, is going to follow Marble immediately because someone's got to be able to take hits. And so is Volk. <laughs> I'm telling you, the theme is who's going to babysit Marble. <laughs> All right, so who's going first? I'm sorry. Me? <laughs> it's Marble it's... and Temerity. Then Volk. I'll go, I'll go third. I can bring up in. I'll, I'll go last if it makes sense. That's fine. Well, so although I'm a little bit faster I'll, I'll than the rest of you. Get up here. I thought Tamarity was helping me out. Okay. Yeah, yeah everybody's up, now. up in the end. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> so, uh, Marble's in front, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. She ran mm -hmm. in front. All right, uh, so you start to head down. Uh, you don't have a problem seeing because, you know, you have dark vision. There is some light mm -hmm. coming from out overhead. Uh, you walk down and down and down through the spiral. Uh, can I do a perception check to see? <laughs> yeah, can I do waiting. a perception? <laughs> For like smells or sounds or anything? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm in does the back. The smell? Can I yes. see one too? <laughs> yes, you can. Um, as you walk about halfway down, you see a step that is larger and slightly different colored than the others. In front of me? Yes, it's in front of you. You haven't stepped or done anything with it yet. Okay, I'm gonna stop real quick and like hold out my arm to be like, wait a minute, something spishy. Okay. And then I'm gonna let Temerity behind me know that there's an odd step here that's a different color than all the other ones. And it's giving me sus vibes. And then I tell him to pass it on. We're doing telephone. <laughs> Stare is sus. Beware. <laughs> pass it on. <laughs> okay. Stare so is sussy, Barker. 
I want to take I want to take one of my crossbow bolts and poke the staircase poke the stair step with it just to like test it out. Okay. Um so you poke the staircase of uh, the step and what you do is um you cause the entire stairs to just they all flatten and now everyone is uh can roll a deck save are we oh. sliding down now you're sliding down now hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah slide are you uh, uh, uh do you mean to say chrissy that uh that we're sliding that down but a butthole that this butthole is nice and smooth it is would you, very would you say it, <laughs> would you say would you say, would you say would you say it's frictionless and slick she hit the loop it's a very it's very <laughs> <laughs> okay r and d tell me when you get to this part too <laughs> all right uh, um, deck saving throw hey 19 all right so um <laughs> Marble, you, uh, with a hiss, <laughs> grab at the side of the, um, at the side of the, uh, the walls and jump up. Temerity goes flying by you. Um, Walks, you also are able to grab and uh, Viani grabs onto you. Zil goes flying. The ringleader uh, manages to sort of finagle himself into the place where Wolks and Biani are together and does not slide down. Um, I am gonna... We lost two people down gonna, the butthole. I'm gonna grab onto Biani and like put her up so she she's basically holding on to my like she's basically on my back holding on to um, I made her hands around my neck. Mm-hmm. And then, um, uh, I don't, I don't know how I would keep it. Can I, keep, like, you could just stick onto you like how Spider Man does. Yeah, I mean, can I carry both her and the ringleader? Or, uh, roll me a strength check. The straight strength? I, uh, athletics. You could do athletics. Oh, okay. yeah. No gay strength. Yeah, you can get the both of them. It, it, you can do it. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Um, and Shall we I'll, climb I'll down? I'll have the ringleader go into his hat, and I'll, I'll carry the hat itself. Uh huh. And I'll start crawling down, like crawling down the side. Um. Do I do I see along the, like how do I see the spot where the stairs? where I touched the staircase and it yeah. went down. Do I, see, do I see the odd spot? Yep. I want to crawl down to it and poke it with my toe again. The stairs pop back up. And then I'm just going to look at Wilkes and be like, um, let's move around this stair. All right, so now we're going to switch to Temerity and Zill. Um, so Temerity, your feet just fly out from underneath you, and the next thing you know, Zill just crashes into you. The two of you go round and around and around and around and around and around, and then slam through a porthole which closes behind you, and you find yourself in a large cavernous room. Ha! It wasn't me falling ass backwards into a a portal no, this you, time. You only triggered it. Sh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> By literally. And I'm pretty sure Tmercy fell feet first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you're both going to take a D4 of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I can roll that. Two. You just take two bludgeoning damage. You find yourself in a mostly a stone room. The um, 
The ceilings are about eight feet high. There's several pillars. It's not large. It's about 10 by 10. In the middle, there is a large chest. Unfortunately, you also hear a sound. And as you look to the corners, you see that in each of the four corners, sand has become to has started to just whoosh down and it is now filling the space that you are in. Hmm. So we need an exit. Do you have an exit? For the cavern to swim at the end of the gaping butthole? No. <laughs> I'm gonna run up to the chest while we're while he observes that, and I'm gonna see if I can. If the chest is openable, or if it's locked, or what? It's locked. Hmm. Well, I've tried nothing, and I'm out of options. <laughs> I don't suppose you have any lockpicks? <laughs> no. Look around. Perhaps there's a lever or something. I don't know. I'm going to start looking around the room for something to pull or push. All right. Um, perception check. Uh... Your superior dog vision is paying off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, uh, well, you can see things very well. Uh, you can see that this place, as you look, the more that convinced you are that this place has more traps than, I don't know, a trap factory. But mm -hmm. the, <laughs> it, there's like places where things are definitely going to come flying out of the walls if you play with them. There's, like places on the floor where you don't want to step um it's just awful and there is no way that you can see that will get you out of this and um the sand continues to pile up right now it's around your ankles <sighs> I just kind of look um, around me, um, and to no one in particular, I say, um, I don't suppose this is yours as well. Um, you hear a voice in your head saying, nope. Wonderful, wonderful. Is there a way? So, what are the others? They just didn't come down here. Uh, they're on their way. I'm assuming yes. they. <laughs> yes, so, we are on our way down the stairs. I'm going to kind of. Again. I'm gonna go through <laughs> the um, through the turn order is what I'm gonna do. Okay. I think that makes the most sense. All right, so Marble, you get to the bottom and you see that we don't see anything. The stairs just come to an end, right up against a wall. It's crazy. What the hell? Did, did we have to slide into it? What? Um, I'm going to... Um, not yet, because it's not your turn. Oh, oh, nope. I told you. Nope, it's a, can, can just, I make it? Can I make? Can I make some kind of intelligence check to see if I can figure out whether or not we needed to slide down to be able to go where they went, or if it was just a one-time uh, trigger thing? All right, intelligence, go for it. 
Mm, I mean, maybe that's how it works. She's going to go for it. She's just going to start climbing the stairs again without saying anything to anybody and go find the step. <gasps> All right, so we'll go past you. Viani. All right, Viani's going to look for um, basically anything that looks like a seam. Like, you know, a place where two things, like not mortared together, but mm -hmm. a crack in the floors, yeah. in the walls. Um, it looks like there is some kind of seam in the uh, in the bottom two stairs. She will share this with the rest of the party. And that's her turn. Temerity. And it looks around the loop. Watch so poor at the chest. He's going to turn around and start punching the wall where he came through. Um, okay, roll. Was it 19? Uh, make a noise. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> It hits, it... I'm just waiting for the... Actually, how are you going to get up there? What was it, for holding the ceiling? Yeah. You fell through the ceiling onto the floor. Timothy has wings. Okay, so you kind of hover up. But... It's, it's not an easy flight here, but you. I'll figure you can do it. Um, you punch, it hurts, you punch stone really hard, thick stone, um, but I will say that the people who are above you, which right now would be Viani, mm -hmm. Volks, and the ringleader, mm -hmm. um, are all, they can hear something. Good. All right, Zill. Followed by Infernal Cursing. <laughs> Literally in Infernal, or... Oh, I walk over to the door that, uh, I guess, or where we came out of. Well, that's in the ceiling. Oh, in the ceiling, right. Right. Which is why Tabochi's fucking you again. <sighs> Well, I have no utility here whatsoever. Um, I'm in a <laughs> in a chamber with sand pouring in, and I did not find could be a puzzle hidden means. And there is a single chest in the center that I cannot open because I have no way of opening it. It would be really useful if you would have that mental link with the cat. I don't have a mental link with the cat. It would be with Viani. And I Sorry, think with Viani. Was, yep. That was previous days, was it not? That was several days ago. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Elden is sick. <laughs> I don't have any... <laughs> And unless this building is alive, um, I really have no way of affecting it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay. Ringleader. Is there anything that you would like to do, Ringleader? I apologize, I was muted. Um, nope. So, first thing, I, I'm sorry for speaking out of turn last bit. It's oh, okay, no, though. Not at all. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, but the um, thing would be, um, like you said that there was a couple of stairs, there's a couple of steps that seem to have the similar kind of thing as the one further up. It's not quite the same, mm -hmm. but there's like a seam on the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I'm going to I'm going to ask them. 
Do you want me to go up and turn the other one again? See if we can get the we see if we can move these two steps. I think Marvel already went up to do something. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, if Marvel's gonna do something, should we hold on to the walls or something? Because yes. uh, uh, yeah, let's let's start doing that. Start like it would, it would be it would be so great if in this moment they just heard Marvel yell, "It's showtime!" and then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm going to become a little crowbar and wedge myself <laughs> between the walls. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, um, yeah. And make myself a bit sticky and just like put my hands on the wall. I'm put my gonna, pseudopods on the wall is behind. I'm just gonna grab onto the wall and hold onto the yeah, with the, my hand. Yeah. Actually, what, uh, what I'm also going to do is, um, I'm going to uh, get some rope out. And yet again, it comes out of my body and everything like that. It's like I've got some weird hammer space in my body. Um, and um, uh, my my basic idea is once, if there is some kind of hole, you know, I'm going to start feeding it into the hole, thinking that this is where they've gone kind of thing, you know? Because I think it's going to empty. I think it's going to open downwards as opposed to like sideways or anything like that mm -hmm. so it's just going to be like that's kind of like i'm readying in action quote unquote but anyway um yeah that's that'll be me okay all right so marble we're back up i will assume that you running as fast as you can yes uh, you've managed to get back to the step and I'm going to raise my hand, and as I'm bringing it down, I am going to yell, it's showtime, and then press the button, and then just say, wee, all the way down. <laughs> oh, are you just going down? You're just taking the oh, trip? Oh, yeah, yeah. I am taking the trip. Okay. Because um... her theory is that she has to take the trip to go where they're going, so <laughs> she's going to go for it. Does the floor open up under us? The floor opens up. All right, and hang on. So, Viani, mm -hmm. Wolks, and the ringleader all make either an athletics or acrobatics. Oh, okay. Check. I'm literally stuck to the wall. Yeah. Uh... I mean, it's fine. I think it was just the anticipation of it. It's fine. Because y'all didn't know when I was going to press it. Yeah. Mm hmm That's true. All right. And the, we'll find out what happens to the ringleader. The, one of the reasons I did it is because now not only did the thing open by, but a cat came flying out at you. Uh, and yeah, it's probably fair. taking a you. A cat screaming, <laughs> wee! Wee! And she comes flying down. She, um... Adventure! Goes through the hole. Uh, and lands on top of Temerity, um, who breaks her I fall. I was going to make a dick sing for to see how. Who Ooh, nice. dodges her, but, you know. Um, so now what is... She's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> catches as her. She's flying, as she's what? flying. Like, oh, oh did hey. You catch... <laughs> did you catch me or no? Uh, oh, that's yeah. a catch. So what you see now... I am a catch. <laughs> having caught her, you can look up, and, and to the people who get down, um, there's a hole. The hole is open. From the top, it looks like there's just a, a web of light. Right? Um just regular light in a web form. From the bottom though, that web does not look like a web of light. It looks like a web of pulsing green glowing energy. So where, like, I, I'm not sure if I understood that image. Okay. So uh, you see the hole in the floor. The hole in the floor is big enough for a person to go through mm -hmm. right it's square 
and imagine like a spider web covering the entire thing like from like one corner spider web in the hole in the hole taking up the entire um this is one dusty ass butthole this entire butthole from your side it looks like it's a spider web of light oh uh, okay okay now i think i'm i'm getting it so you're looking down you saw uh you saw marble go through it looking uh and absolutely being fine no problem but from below they can see that it's it is not attractive looking it is not a light it looks dangerous you don't have to be like a wizard to say oh that's not good that's not good at all mm. oh and uh by the way the um the sand is now up to your knees Zill. so temerity i'm guessing we can't go out that way we're gonna have to find another way out down there yeah, we haven't found anything. And it's pretty chest, yellow. actually. But well, you caught yourself a cat. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do what I'm saying, can you? <laughs> yeah, no, he's right down there with you. We're at the now. Ceiling. At least you guys can talk to each other because the yeah, but it's still that. <laughs> The ceiling's not that high. Marble's gonna yell up, go down the slide! Viani! Brody's <laughs> gonna shake his head at that. Alright, so what exactly is the situation with the floor? Because she clicked the thing and it's so the the opening to the floor, like there should be an opening in the ceiling, right? It's an opening in your yes. floor and in Temerity and Zill's ceiling. Yes. And, right. mine. and yes, now marble. All right. So I'll say to Wolks, can you use the pitons and um, rope? I can't. I can't climb. I just have to hold on. But you can climb. So can you um, like get I the don't equipment? Have any uh, I think I might have some pitons. You have to come and get them out of my pocket, though. Well, I'm I've like got half five of them. holding you right now. So okay. Well, I can give them to you here. Then I'll just like get them out of my pocket, and I will pass them to Waltz. And I think yeah, I right. still have rope as well. So, yeah. All right. You now have pitons and rope. That's my turn. Okay, Temerity. Temerity's gonna look up and shout, "Don't come down here!" And then take marble to the chest. The buried okay. chest. No, it's up on a... Well, they can dig it out. It's up on a bit of a pedestal. So mm. it will be probably pretty soon. It will start Kinda to like be you, under Zil. sand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm going to say from here on to Meredith, there's no way you can really fly. It's, it's not going to be enough space oh. to fly. You know what I mean? Mm, makes sense. Too much sand. Yeah. Uh, Zill. My lack of ability to do things is as equal as it was a moment ago. Um, you I hear will a voice in your head and says, oh, come on. Try. <laughs> Try to do what? <laughs> I go over and I kick the chest. Okay, uh, roll an attack. <laughs> don't even have a melee attack. Hold on. Uh, this is the attack. Would it it's just be strength, strength forward? Okay. Um, <laughs> it, the chest rattles. It shakes. And you can roll me a deck save. Okay. Um, a 
you feel a stinging in your arm as a projectile heads into you. Um, and yeah, it does you um, two points of piercing damage and you are, you can do a con save, DC 13. Oh yeah, you fight off the poison that would have otherwise been in you. Actually, the other two of you, um, you were all by that chest, right? So Temerity and Marble. Damn it, so. <laughs> what do we have to roll? Dex. Roll deck save. Deck save. You have to do it on disadvantage because you're pretty held. But yes, uh, you guys both make the deck save. So you manage to slide out of the way of the projectiles. I'm going to give Temerity a high five. <laughs> All right, ringleader. Are you muted again? I am indeed. I apologize. Um, I'm going to assist folks with the piton and rope maneuver ing. Because I've already got the rope out, so you know, I'll start feeding the rope down the down the chute, um, and see how far that goes. Yeah, it goes directly down in. It's it's goes right through. Mm -hmm. Um. So there we go. Um. We just need a like. We basically just need a uh, what should we call it? A uh, anchor point. Which hopefully Volks. Basically, this is just me saying I'm, I'd like to give Volks um, advantage on the roll to set like uh, an anchor point or something like that. You sure? The help action. A help action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Apologies. I, 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 don't... I wasn't sure if you meant that or guidance, so I just wanted to. Mm. I. I. Because yeah. that's I, a D four. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I'm I'm flagging guys a little wee bit, um, yeah. I'm but that's sorry. my turn. That's my turn. No, it, makes, that's my turn. it makes sense that like you have the rope and you're helping me with it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. All right, Wolks. Well, I am gonna take the uh, pieces that I've gotten and start uh, and the rope that I now got, um, and start making securing it, and I'm gonna hold on to it as well, in anticipation of them climbing up using the rope. Okay, I will say, yeah, just in athletics. Okay. And yeah, you do speciality. fine. You are very, you are holding it. Um, and you still have Viani, but li luckily now Viani is kind of able to just hold on to you more so that you mm -hmm. can sort of use your hands. All right. I'm sorry, I got a little verklempt here. I've got to run and get something to drink to... <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, no otherwise, worries. I'm going to be making okay. some lovely mouth noises. <laughs> right. That's fun. I will also be your bee. All right. I am also going to get a drink. Everybody is drinking. I guess I'll go get a drink too. Should I just put it on break? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess I guess there's a drink break. No, oh, Muffin, no. you have to entertain them. Entertain. No, I'm also entertain. gonna go get it. Sing a song. I just did. I'm also gonna get something to drink. <laughs> I'm back with the entertaining sound of water. Everybody loves the sound of water. It's so entertaining. And I just knocked the microphone. I'm very sorry about that, audience. Water. It's great. I'm back with the entertaining sound of opening a bottle of soda. That's also a very good noise. As we... 
Adventure through the butthole. A very dusty but smooth butthole. Oh, well, it's only smooth sometimes. You just needed to press the right buttons. Yeah, no, it's a, it's the, it's the prostate. We are the wrong two people to be sitting here entertaining. Yes, we really are. We, we will just <laughs> go off on a childish, childish rant about buttholes and prostates. Well, honestly, it's a mood. I have like, returned. Like How two, is the mood? Like two 12-year-olds who know way more about sex than they should. I would yes. be getting in touch with CPS if I had that. <laughs> There's something desperately wrong with you all. Well, it's I mean, a good thing we're not. I'm well. back. You're not wrong. Is it even called CPS in the UK now? <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't know. So I, don't know agencies. I don't know if they really uh, would be very happy with me saying those people what are right shits because they don't have the money to actually protect your kids. So now they just oh, exactly. attempt <laughs> to Preach. ostensibly. Try not to break anything. I'm I'm sorry. I'm very jaded on the whole social work thing. An ex of mine went through the social work process, and yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum used to be a social worker for Kickstarter, and it um, they got really well with the parents. And then central government kind of started screwing them over. Yeah. Wait, so, you start harassing the, like, like, site? Like, the website? No, no, no. It, uh, no, no, it's, it was the name of a program to help preschool. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, parents uh, oh, and preschoolers here in the UK. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah. yeah, programs like that don't get nearly enough money, and it just... Like fucks Hi. over kids that really need it. What's up, y'all? Hello. Not much. Yeah, I mean, here I it was Ferrero Rocher's. Because where we That's live well. is a very multicultural city. There was a lot of parenting issues going on. People trying to get to work for their communities. So my mum was doing a really good job, and so were the other workers. And then central government said, "You've been doing such a great job." You're no longer needed. Oh, oh dear. That, that makes sense. That's how, that's yeah. how that works. That's what usually happens. All right. Well, we can start again at the top. Sorry about <laughs> that. I got, as soon as I left, I saw that my kid was sort of wandering about instead of being in bed like he's supposed to, so. Wandering about. Shame. <laughs> that, 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 that is, that is fucking brilliant. Was he conscious? So, kid. Oh, he's mostly conscious. <laughs> he needs like, to learn he not get bed caught. in bed, but then, like, he's like, can I have a, can I have milk? Can I have a cookie? <laughs> is this the whole concert thing still? Yeah. Aww. Like, because I'm the only one Aww. here, it's like, yeah, I will give you just have some milk and go to bed. <laughs> no cookies. Bad you can't cookie. have a cookie. You can have a cookie for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. That's what my grandma would tell me. My grandma would be like, okay, yeah. no, you can have a drink, but if you want cookies or chocolate, you're going to have to wait till breakfast, okay? <laughs> you didn't get it for breakfast? No, I got it for breakfast. I got cookies for breakfast. <laughs> It pissed my Most mom American off. cereal is just cookies for breakfast. If that the is, cup that oh, comes honestly, in boxes. I, I can say that oh. that's probably the case. So. Meanwhile, in the butthole. I got, I got in cookies the for breakfast. Deep in the butthole. Deep in the butthole. In the secret cavern of the butthole. Deep in the sometimes smooth. In the secret and... cavernous depths of the butthole. <laughs> um. Which are for some reason filling up with sand. They're about to. Oh no, sandy butthole! <laughs> there is a really <laughs> sandy butthole. Fuck! Sounds like someone's Someone name. Someone fell down at a beach. Uh, I don't I like mean, this. Sand. Is... Yeah, I it's know. It's cool, so he gets everywhere. And it gets Especially everywhere. Especially it gets in the butthole. 
it gets way into the butthole and then you know before you know it you're you've got real problems it's about <laughs> up to your waist at this point zill <laughs> um, rope there's, there's a rope, rope hanging down there, there, there is, is a rope. rope hanging down use it it is <gasps> what are you doing kiddo Is he up again? Yeah, hang on. No, oh, poor Bubba. Oh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Still, are we gonna? Are you gonna climb out of the butthole, or are we gonna have to pull you out of the butthole? How am I gonna climb out of the butthole? What's on the rope? Oh, this oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it might not be that easy. No, I have a feeling that the green spider, spider web thing is uh, mm. gonna be a problem. Might be important. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm sure it's just there for <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm totally going to interesting try to climb the rope instead of figuring out the puzzle that is this chest. All right. <laughs> so definitely not going to go for the puzzle. There's a rope behind you and a chest in front of you. Who are we talking to? Marble. Ah, me. Okay. It is your turn. There's a lot of sand. She's going to look at the rope. In. She's going to look at the rope and walk over to the chest. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to... You buy the chest. I'm going to take a look at it. All right. Roll. Uh, if it's just looking, roll perception. This is a chest. It's locked. <laughs> Can I investigate the lock? Yeah, go ahead. That'll be your turn for today, but for this round, rather. For today. I never this get another for today. turn. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I just die here. <laughs> Either that or Temerity, like, grabs me by the cuff, cuff of my shirt and just drags me off. All right. Oh, nope. Oh, that's a lock on a chest. <laughs> wow. Fun stuff. Oh, my God. We're going <laughs> to die. We're not going to die. Shush. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> Biani. Uh, Biani's nine just lives. I'm not too sure on. about. Okay. I don't know that she can actually do too much, to be honest. So that's her turn. Like, I'll... Yeah, I got nothing. Temerity. Uh, Marble is staring at this chest. He's just going to stand there. With the wings outstretched to protect Marble from any more projectiles. Okay. All right. So you're starting to sink oh, into the, the sand. Is Temerity my, my protector? Yeah. Um, Temerity is protecting you. Zill. I'm going to climb this rope. Okay. Um, it's easy enough for you to do. It's, it's not far up. Um, so here's what I'm going to say. You get to the top, to where that web is. As you start to approach it, you can feel it pulsing out at you. You can choose not ju just to go through it and take your chances. Or you can choose not to. You know it's going to hurt. It'll hurt to go through it. Or I'll you... be crushed by sand. Correct. Yeah, I think that's a real easy choice. I'll be going through it. <laughs> All right. And... Um... So you, let's see. Oh, I'm dead. 28? I'm out. That's more than my health total. So he, so you just kind of plop back down in the sand and me and Samaritan are just like, what the fuck? Yep, I'm now unconscious. Okay. Marvel's going to face palm.
All right. The um, ringleader, you just saw your friend get zapped. And fall unconscious onto a bunch of sand. I am going to look at Volks and um, I'll say um, they can't come out, can they? And I'm just going to... I don't think so, no. I'm going to jump into the hole using the rope as kind of like a bit of guidance for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and from my... From where I'm at, I'm going to uh, cast a spell on the ineffable Captain Mastermind. Um, where is it? I believe it's Cure Wounds is the better one, but it's a touch action. Yeah, I will Correct. use Cure Wounds. Boop. And I'm going to cast it as a second level spell. Boop. I hope you're actually booping his nose. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm kind of splatting all over them. And um, there's a, you know, just a... Mild you cast it as a second level spell? I only rolled 1d8. No, it rolled two. So there's the three, and then there's the higher level cast. Oh, I see. Oh! Oh, the two above that is that. Okay. Yeah, so it's two plus three. So you yeah. gain five hit points back. Okay. Yep. So you get back up. Um, and I don't really think there's really much I can do more than that um, because it's kind of uh, whatever. However, I'm going to... Um... Viani and Wolks. Roll perception. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, perception. There you are. All right, Viani, uh, both of you, actually, when he went down for a second, it shorted out the spider web. Uh. Mm. Okay, so we need to figure out the trigger mechanism. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, still holding on to the rope somewhat, uh, I'm gonna just put my arm through the spider web or a foot or something. Like, I'm just gonna, um, like, sit halfway through it. Wait, 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 wait. Remember what was that draw our attention here? It was a, it was a shiny stone. It was a, it was a quartz or something, right? Well, well does anything, do, do I short out the thing by just being, having something in it? You do. Um... And let's see, uh, Viana, you're on, you're on the right track. So when he goes through, yes, he shorts it out, but he also makes it so it would be impossible for another person to fit. But you're seeing that it's almost as if, uh, roll intelligence or investigation or something. And I guess ringleader, you're behind underneath. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there are there are a bunch of of um well there's four in each corner crystals. You know how lasers have to touch each other sometimes? Just gonna say dun 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 yeah. dun, 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 dun he's dun, blocking dun, dun. the laser. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have to block the laser. All right, what do I have here? My I've got this I've got a seashell. I've got a seashell. I can use that. Um, yeah. uh, I got a tinder box. Yeah, so can can I kind of go around? Um, can we yeah, have him crawl around to these things? And I don't know. What do we? What do you have in your bag of stuff? Like I don't have anything. That we could use. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Candles. Can you? Uh, I, I can. Oh. I can use a candle to kind of. It's kind of waxy. If I. No, maybe not. I don't know. Well, you can no. try removing like, them. Me medieval candles would be made out of... Breaking like, them. Tallow. Yeah. 
All right, uh, I don't want. Should we break them? Yeah, I guess we. No, 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 I, I, I'm not really strong. Wolk's probably good. I can just. I can attempt to just rip the. Um, yeah, the see if you can. Crystals out. Let's see. I mean, I've got uh, some of my thieving tools, so maybe there's something in there, like a little prying open thingy that might be able to help. Oh yeah, like something you can like get in, like. Under. Kind of like a mini. Like like a crowbar but just straight like, yeah like yeah. Pop, like pop them out a wedge mm -hmm. yeah like if you wanted to pop out some nails or something yeah we'll have a try all right fiani uh roll sleight of hand all right so how does it work my thieves tools should i roll my thieves tools yeah you can roll thieves tools yeah okay but with, if that's you what you're using from them if yes. you're pro you're proficient with thieves tools you're yes right. i am yeah so the attribute you need to get to sorry again it's a drop down box so i have to get to dexterity all right 13. uh you get one out okay so out of four out of four there's still a web there but it's it's not a complete web all right, all right. can you maybe try to smash one of the other ones I yeah, I can try to just rip it out. I'll attempt to just... Rip might be one fastened out. in there somehow. Yeah. Um, you're actually going to need to do a sleight of hand. It's not like mm, it's yeah. inside. That's fair. So you're going to have to I'll give him it. advice and help. Ten. So you get advantage. Oh, yeah. Okay. 13. And I'll give you, I'll give you um, bardic inspiration too. So D6. <laughs> uh... There. Okay. Oof. Yeah, you yank one out and manage to kind of shake the other so it's down. So we're open now. You're open. Like there's just one crystal and one crystal by itself can't do shit. Woo! There's no net. Okay. So, okay. Um, so now we could just. Ooh, yeah, um, like we can uh, tie the yeah, Zill up. And, well, actually, is Zill conscious yet? I don't know. That was your Zill turn. Zill is conscious. <laughs> okay. All right. So Marble... we can tie him up anyway. Zill is awake. <laughs> Marble, you're there. There's with a chest. Um, if you, you could try to grab it and pull it away and get it up there now, but you've got to move. Like it's it's decision time. Taking the chest. Yeah. Either taking the chest or not taking the chest. Marble's gonna look... taking the chest. Yeah. Marble's gonna look at Zill and be like. Help me get this chest. Well, we'll remember that we're that I'm here as well, so you know, I can help out as well. Yes. Token temerity, honestly. So you know. Yeah. All right. Temerity, so let's go. will temerity help? Wait, is temerity here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're, right. we're taking the chest. How are you trying to take the chest? Are you just lifting it and pulling it? Are you trying to be careful? What's I'm, going on? I'm going to try to be careful. Okay. I'm going to say do acrobatics with advantage because Temerity is helping you. Okay. Yes. Thankfully. Uh, you start to take it out. You see as it as it starts to come up a light a crystal forming underneath it but you're ready for that shit man you're ready for it and you just i'm so put ready your little paw on top of it you're like get some sand pops the sand in there now you're covered and you are now able it's covered. you and temerity together can get the chest up which will bring mm. us to zill I'm going to go back up the rope. <laughs> this time, not a problem. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Uh, ringleader. Right. Um, yeah, uh, they. I'm going to be the last one out. I'm going to be helping everybody. I'm going to help get the chest up and everything. Okay. So, you know. So, you get everything up. Um... It's going to be difficult now. 
uh, unless you know somebody decides to go ahead and and re put up all the stairs, which I assume <laughs> somebody will do at some point. Cat, could Temerity fly up and step on it? Uh, it's really hard to fly here. Oh right, yes, that's true. It'd be yeah, very I'll, awkward, Temerity. I'll climb. I'll climb up as fast as I can and press the stairs. Okay, so the rest of you can kind of hold on, um, holding each other. I'm assuming keeping each other out from the hole. And yeah, M Marble gets up as fast as she can, hits the stairs, you can walk up, and then you are, once again, you emerge out of the butthole. Don't look Ooh. back. Walk toward the line. Blinding sun. <laughs> <laughs> Having brought Get out of a this treasure hole. within you that you have found within. All right, so what was the secret treasure of the butthole? Like we dug around. We need to find out. Well, it's locked. Oh. Oh, okay. We well, I can open it. fix that. Oh. All right. We want to get to the ground again before we open it. Yes. Well, it might be easier to carry once it's out of the thing. It might just be like a little bit of platinum or something. Well, I mean, Temerity can just fly it down. He can fly now. Like, there's enough oh. space. What do you mean? Right. <laughs> oh. I'm ready to pop it open whenever you want. So... I'm going to... How big is this chest? Um, It's a regular size chest. You know, I'm like, it's you know, heavy. Like a, you know, like a B cup. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's a B cup. Chest. That's pretty yeah. funny. That's, it's, 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 <laughs> oh, okay. That's, it's later. That's, I mean, that was why it was funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you just made my joke funnier, but muffin. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I can I can just carry it down. Okay. Um, so. Temerity, Temer uh, wings. Sorry? Can you wings? Can you be the last to go and take the rope with rope down with you? I guess that works. I assume we also got the rope that we had down there, mm -hmm. and we took that with us. Did you? I don't know. You can take it out, get our pitons back. No, I so he can head back down, step over uh, the dangerous step, and retrieve it all. Yeah, we have the steps now. Or we actually, it depends on to. where they were. I don't know. If we can buy more pitons, it's not a big no, deal. It's also whether it's more the like, rope would be trapped when the uh, um, I'm also going to start climbing down. Uh, yeah. It was, it was more than me, like, got the rope that I used. Um, roll. Walks, roll an intelligence. Okay. Uh, 12. You forgot, damn it, before, like, all of a sudden the stairs were there. It cut the rope off in uh, half. You hadn't oh. grabbed it yet. Yeah, okay. So you got like the rope. Yeah, fine. five feet of rope. <laughs> well, and as long as we time. get the the rope that's hanging off the bird. Yeah, that rope is still there. You didn't yeah. do anything with it. Yeah. We can take that. Okay. okay. I will um I will attempt to um using the rope and my climb speed and my athletics, I'm gonna attempt to like carry the chest down with me. Okay. I'm already climbing. All right. So do athletics. Okay. Oh, oh. no. Um, <laughs> you get down. It's fine, but you drop the chest at one point when you're trying to just finagle around. The chest breaks open. You see a bunch of gold pieces go flying, and some other stuff. Uh. Hopefully no potions. I hear any glass smashing. Yeah, maybe we should have opened it at the top, huh? Or we could have, like, given it to Temerity like I suggested, and he could just fly it down. Oh, well, no use crying over spilled gold. Yeah, we could still gather it all up. Yeah, I could just take Fiani for a flight. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, please. I'm down. Be I'm lovely. gonna crawl the the rest of the way down and start looking at uh, the things 
that was in the chest. I like to right. gather up the gold before yeah. we lose it. So you the gather up the gold. Scum. You have a bunch of gold. I'm assuming you give it to somebody else to do the counting. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, I can only count to six. <laughs> so uh, you have 3,000. 367 gold pieces when it's all said and done. Oh, wow. Into the kitty. Meow. Why would you That's put, my why, line. Why would you put it? For the moment, it actually means putting it inside the wing keeper. Wing leader. Yes. <laughs> all right. And now I'm going to need people to roll some stuff. Um, tell you what, everyone roll a d12. Okay. Okay. Boop. All of Four, the five, D6, six, eight. Six, okay. four, six, four, six, five, eight. Then ten. Okay. All right. New mouse pad. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there are several potions. They were pretty well packed, so that's good. Um, you find yourself with a potion. Well, you wouldn't know. All right, yeah, you can recognize the potions of healing, of which there are four. Who's noting down four potions of healing? Uh, I can keep it. I'll list. just get out my notebook. Oh, you could just do it in your bio notes in your character sheet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and or until, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it in the treasure uh, treasure things until we can uh, separate them out. Put my notebook away then. Okay. Four potions of healing. It's just if you're ever gone, then we can always look at your sheet. <laughs> That's more of it. Oh, oh yeah. I wasn't gonna keep it here. I was. No, 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 no. I'm in for um for Sib. Like a physical notebook versus like in your oh, ma yeah. making notes in your character sheet that the DM can access. Well, I wasn't gonna keep these notes. I was just gonna use them as we sometimes we separate things out. To be um. Anyways, yes. Um. Yeah. Did we I just kept help? a running total. Uh, so four potions of healing. Some other things we don't know about yet. There is a potion of greater healing. Ooh. There is a spell scroll, which if you want Ooh. to take a look at it, there, um, it is a fairy fire spell scroll. Nice. <gasps> Ooh. Um, and then there's a potion that you have no idea. Nobody here knows what it is, so. I guess. Mystery potion. You can ask it's my aunt. It's a mystery aunt. potion. Yes. Oh, yeah. Can't you just taste potions and immediately identify them? It might have some effect. I mean, you can go for it. Hey, Zill, how dip about your you finger do that? You I go. just, I literally thought that was raw. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's great narrative if you're willing to try it. Yeah. I mean, how much gold did we? Did you say was in there? Three thousand something. Three thousand. Hang on, give me a second. Um, because I'm not there. Uh, 3,367. Right, right. A lot of gold from a butthole. I've noticed Surprising that. what you find when you dig around in buttholes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never would have known. Legos. You yeah, and me. gold comes out the other one. In the, uh, and that's how this fisting was invented. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that yeah. is wrong, by the way. That's... Well, we do code this for mature for a reason. Yeah, right? I know. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. Uh, it is, <laughs> More uh, like immature. <laughs> it is rules as written that you can just like, taste test. Yeah, potions. basic rules using a magic item potions are an exception to the rule of identifying magical items. A little taste is enough to tell the taster what the potion does. Oh. I don't know why we would. I've seen just... Jeremy Crawford do that during a session, so I know. So that's... you can you you do you want to taste it? Sure. Dip a little pinky in. 
Congratulations, <laughs> it's Wyvern poisoning! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Pure Botox. <laughs> Your tongue is All now right. numb. It's very difficult oh, for no, me to understand dead. how this works. However, I'm going to say, I guess, that you understand that this is a potion of misdirection. So oh, well, it's that, good that you're the one that took it. Yeah, what that does, it's it's about deception. Um, the target, if you can get them to drink this potion, needs to succeed on an intelligence save or be misled into traveling to a location of your choice within one mile. Thinking Ooh, that there is devious. something crucial to their plans or immediate desires that they have to make it to. What is the uh, DC on the save? The DC is 16. The way I've seen a role played out is uh, basically he would suddenly have an urge to leave the camp and go somewhere. Like basically like the effects of the spell momentarily take over. And that's how you learn. <laughs> through experience and punishment it's a, sometimes. It's like the, um, it's like that. So we're, we're going to return to the caravan and he just wanders off in a random direction. So I guess, would oh, anybody yeah, nice. talk about any place he has to go? Like, are, are you talking about areas? At first you get nothing. Um, I mean, we would and probably then you mention, see... like, hey, we should bring this back to the... Um... His eyes kind of go cloudy. Know, he looks at you and he says, I, where am I supposed to be going? Yeah, yeah. And where You're... do you say? The caravan? He immediately gets up. He needs to go to the caravan. He needs to go right now to the caravan. Why didn't you say the butthole? That would have been funnier. <laughs> no, we're not going back to the butthole. Um, um, yeah, no. Right, is, that, right. um, is that everything? <laughs> No. Um, let's see. No, there's more. Well, Each wait, of us rolled a dice. More. There's more. Uh, you see a some pipes that feel magical to you, to those who are of the magical persuasion. You Magic get the pipes. sense that these pipes are magical. Like, yes, in the what kind of pipes? pipes? I, I, not like, like plumbing? You know, not plumbing pipes, like, <laughs> okay, okay. like oh, kind of like my loot, po like yeah, my Lord of the flute? Pan flute kind of thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have a pan flute. Oh, there you go. Um, you see various uh, different gems. Ooh. Um, which I don't think any of you would know right off the top of your head. There's a breastplate, a small shield, a full plate. It's heavy, but, you know, it's all squished in there. Uh, there is a scimitar. None of these seem uh, particularly magical to you. There's what looks like a charcoal drawing of a soldier and a woman. Uh, a couple of embroidered silk handkerchiefs. Yeah, hold on. Ooh, nice. Hmm. Charcoal drawing of soul. And woman. And then silver embroidered handkerchiefs? Uh, just embroidered handkerchiefs. Okay. Like really fancy, nice handkerchiefs. Silk. There's um, a set of engraved bone dice. Ooh. Mm. Cool. A black velvet mask stitched with silver thread. Wow. <gasps> uh, dibs. Ooh. Black velvet That's mask. gonna look fabulous on Yana. <laughs> Thank you. Silver inlays, you said? You're gonna look so intimidating. Silver thread, it's really pretty. <laughs> It's very Venetian mask. They really yes. are. Mm, cool. Okay. Very carnival. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a small mirror. Uh -huh. We'll give this one to Eldon. 
a carved bone statuette. No, which stop is looking at it. Frankly, a carved carve what? Carved, carved bone. bone statuette, which is um, it, it's tawdry. I mean, really. Th oh, this is, okay. Um, a bit. Oh, that one's for Elden. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. We'll, this we'll is um, those two will be his. Yeah, it's like uh, marble porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. is that it? I think that might be it. I am very interested in the pan flute. Oh, so oh, that's, did I that's say that's what it is. Did I say a really nice scimitar? Uh, yes. You said scimitar, yes. A scimitar, yeah. but not a really say nice scimitar. One. It is a really nice scimitar. Oh, okay. Particularly nice scimitar. Okay. Mm. So the gold, um, the 3,300 mm. and... Um, 67 gold should probably just go in the kitty that seems sensible yeah yeah mm -hmm. um so we can count it stick it in the we can keep we can lead them and sort that out later yeah um, i'm really interested in the instrument what I want to know is, will oh, yeah. the ringleader be taking a portion of the percentage mm -hmm. of the brewer whose in capital investment he yes. put money toward I, I want to go just to just to keep this organized because there's so many things. I want to go from the top, and so gold goes in the kitty. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, then we have the four potions of he uh, healing and the one potion of greater healing. Uh, we can either put them somewhere and ha divide them out, or we can divide them out now. I don't know. Um, I'm inclined to give them to the two spellcasters. I think, yeah, that's kind of the thing I was going to suggest. Yeah. I can, I can, I can do, I can, like, half of the things aren't spelled correctly, was just writing them down. But I, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to put this in the Discord, and then the Discord we can just, like, we, split it all up. It's we easy. Can split it up, all up, all there. So we don't yeah. take off time, a lot of time just sitting here. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Interested. It's already quarter after four in the morning yes, here. So. Yeah. Also, what I was thinking. <laughs> which is it? I'm which just is the thing. What the instrument like, does. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to identify this instrument? Possibly. Or just play it for yes. a while. See what happens. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Do you it's have a flute? um it is do you have a wind instrument uh are you proficient I am proficient in pan flute Okay um yeah that's I have one You see that now a... I have a magical one You can say from playing it it's funny you you can create a variety of sounds with this, some of which should not be able to. It's like you can imitate creatures, environmental sounds, most other sounds. Ooh, neat. Um, oh, I'm going to have way too much fun with this. And uh, <laughs> if, if you spend the time, if you spend like 10 minutes playing around with it, um, you get the sense that there is an extra magical capacity here. It's going to be, it, it would be difficult to just play it and understand what it is. You may need to find somebody who can do an actual, like, uh, spell that tells you, like, identify or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it basically... What you know for sure is you can make, you can concentrate on this, concentrate on some like animal sound or the sound of running water. And before you know it, that's what it sounds like. What about the sound, on, sound of Elden whining? Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh my gosh, Christy, get out of my head. <laughs> and here was me thinking that you were just going to honest, make you like a theme tune for everybody. So like whenever they're walking around, you just yes, kind of yes. Go. I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine Elden whining and mm. see if I can do that. <laughs> you yeah. imagine? Well, it, I was thinking about something. To try it. 
What's your caster level? My caster level? Mm-hmm. How do I tell that? It'd just be it's... your level of spell. Your, yeah. your, what level you are in classes that have spells. Yeah, you, oh, you I have the highest spell level I, I have level two. No, 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 no. You're a third level something then? You're, you're, no, no, no. You're a fourth level cleric, correct? Yes. Yeah, I'm so a fourth, fourth level. Yeah. So that's it. Fourth level callus. Oh, okay. Caster. So that's it. Yeah. I'm a fourth yeah. level. No, uh, a good way of just thinking about it, right, is yeah. um, just think like if, you, if you're not a, if you don't motor class, it's just your level, right? Ah, okay. You could tell yeah. how many times I've played a spellcaster. <laughs> yeah, it's not bother. All right. If you do multi-class, it's a bit more complicated. You just, you've got to find out what's the higher level and only just say that one. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Okay. All right. Well, well it depends if you mean your highest spell caster level or your total caster level. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's a little difficult to explain, but um, you're able to do this sort of whining sound you can't make words necessarily but what you get the sense of is that you know if somebody cast a silent image spell you could connect with it you could make it a basically a, an extraordinarily effective silent image spell right you could do a silent image of Elden and play this, and the next thing you know, it would seem as if he was there talking and moving and making sounds at the same time. You think But right now, does it sound him does it sound it like sounds he's like his whining? It sounds like <laughs> ah, <laughs> get out of my way. I need the latrine. But there's none of that. No, I need the latrine. No, no words like, yet. No, no words. Just I haven't sounds. gotten there yet. And in fact, um, if people want to do a wisdom save, the people who are around it. Okay. Yeah. Pretty that. much everybody, everybody's like, except, except for the, the ringleader. ringleader. The ringleader is like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> And everybody else is like, where the fuck did Elden come from? Elden, where are you? <laughs> so, yeah, that's what you got. You got a really kind of magically enhanced, illusory, sound-making pan flute that can assist with the silent image spell. And I'm going to say out of character that it's very unfortunate that y'all let me have this. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this fucking pants. You're the only one who can play it, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do need actually uh, proficiency with either wind instruments or the pan flute or a bow more. Yeah, and that's the only instrument proficiency I have is pan flute. So. Meant to be. Now I just need to learn silent image. And this was, I want to say, completely random. I had no idea you had the so happy thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so <laughs> happy right now. <laughs> both time-wise oh, and where we R &D. are in the story. I hope you know I'm going to fuck with you so hard with this pan flute. This seems like a good place. Oh, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I do want to say... I just need say... silent image. <laughs> And my life will be complete. <laughs> when do we level up? In a bit. In a bit. Don't rush me. I'm sorry. We did just level up. Damn image. desert, man. We just leveled up, so. Yeah. It was only Get weeks ago. out of the desert. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I do want to say to anybody who might be watching um, that... On the 29th and on the 30th, we are doing a special uh, Call of Cthulhu and Spooky D&D &D for charity. Uh, yes. We are raising money for the Save the Children Foundation, a foundation that is all over the world. 
they're helping kids in Yemen. They're helping kids down the street from you. It is a wonderful foundation and we're very happy to be able to do whatever we can do to support it. You know, um, everybody loves kids on Halloween or I do, I don't know. And this is just one more way to give them a treat. So uh, please check in with us next week, next Friday and Saturday. Um, if we can get together something for Sunday, I'll do that too, but it's all good. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my spiel. I'm so good at this. I am. So, that was smooth, right? That was, that was fucking. That was, that was fucking so smooth. That's great. Fucking based. That was as smooth <laughs> as the inside of the butthole. <laughs> oh, hey! oh, no. oh snap! Oh no! All right, as so the now do the outro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We're gonna do the outro, micro. Yes. So, come back next week for spooky, and with that, it's goodbye for me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, Bye, party. party.